Great, you ready? Well, now we ready. Yeah. <laughs> now we really ready. I was like, wait a minute, how come it says zero on the top? Topics, whether conscious or cosmic, it's never nonsense. Mega levels are microscopic. It's a killer priest project. AD control the rocket. Before we land the plane, many things we engage and explain. The unexplained without mass. Welcome to the Killer Priest Podcast. Killer Priest Podcast. Yeah, we back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me show y'all about this retrograde. <laughs> Yo, I poured out my soul, man. Oh, man. Hey, this. Yo, oh, man. Up, yo. Uh, yo, we got to let y'all know what happened, man. That was a dress rehearsal. Yo. <laughs> that was a good, a good, strong 10 minutes I went in, right? That was, uh, yo, I went in too. That, that was you went in too? <laughs> yeah, yeah it, was right. just, it was just straight talking. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's funny as hell, though. It was a good yo. rehearsal. Yeah, yeah, I was here for that whole conversation that we just had. Yo, we thought we was live. We thought we was yeah. live. Yo, we we man, we was going. I was, I went in, man. I was opening up. I was letting y'all I was trying to let y'all know. Well, now we gotta do it all over there. It won't it won't sound the same. So we'll just <laughs> Nah, we can flow into it, but yeah, nah, I know what you mean. We was already like in a different we was already in the realm of the show. Yeah. yeah man. <laughs> I hit the primary button and I forgot to say. Oh, oh man. man. Well anyway, we're gonna do something new. Uh Put it like this. I was talking about my Patreon. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the people that's on my Patreon. And look, I'm going to start Patreon. I'm going to go hard on the Patreon. So I want you all to get ready because I'm going to take you out to a journey of what inspires me, you know, and what I go through and the things that uh, it's going to be all on my Patreon and how we make music and how I set up the mood and stuff like that. You know, uh, like I was saying before, when you make love to your girl, and stuff like that, or you have a girl at the crib or whatever. You want the the lighting to be right. You want the you want candles or whatever. How you want want to rock it because it's a situation. It's a situation that you want to set the mood right. You might have your, you know, your whatever you drink right there. Some champagne, some wine. So you know you want to wind down the evening or whatever. Well, that's how we make music. Music mm -hmm. is a, an affair. Is, a, is an experience. It's about. Life, love is about the zodiacs. It's about your pet. It could be anything. It could be around animals and the whole intimate scene. I want to take y'all to something. How we start. How we in the studio and how what inspires us and just things like that. And also, man, I want to take y'all to some new new music and some stuff that we never even revealed yet. And things that'll be exclusive just to my Patreon. So get ready and enjoy. Get, go, go now. Log on to the Patreon. Priest will be over there. You know my word is my bond. I might call it that. Okay. <laughs> my word is my bond. Uh, okay. And um, for that one person, I'll do. I'll be giving y'all little bonuses. And you know, even the creation story. The creation story about how I create. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people want to know about that and what it takes. And um, yeah. it'll all be there. And and uh, Patreon. So this is the second time I'm doing this. So it's a little watered <laughs> down. I feel like I got to hold back because I was drop. I was just flowing off the top. It was everything was smooth and it wasn't even on. You know what I mean? It's, it's all good. It's the remix. You know what I mean? Not Sometimes bad. you got to do things uh, differently. You know? <laughs> it's like redoing a freestyle. It's yeah, like, or running yeah. out on stage and then the mic is low. You know what I mean? The mic is not mm. on. You just like oh, oh, that's yeah, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Ceaseless, man. I see you in the building, man. Dope, yeah, though. yeah, yeah. I'm going to get into it. I'm talking to Aiden. So we're going to really sit down and um, go through this. I got a, I got enough people that's going to be crazy. We're going to do the tears. We're going to have different type of tears. I ain't going to tell you how they might be chakra tears or, you know, trailer tears. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I mean, so uh, we're going to go into it. And if y'all have any ideas for me, y'all just let me know. Both of yeah. Also, and I'm, I'm open to do it. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. This is my turn. I remember I went in too. Take him. Take him there. Yeah, because you because you went in right. You went <laughs> yeah. in, but I was like, I start. I kind of started the show real quick. You know. You did. 
You know what I mean? Because I, I had to tell you about it. I feel good. It's springtime right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I got I, I represent how I'm feeling depending on what I'm wearing. You know what I mean? That's right. Springtime, you know what I mean? So I got the bright colors on. Oh, you know yeah. What I mean? We was trying to make this... We, we was trying to describe what color shirt I'm wearing right now. It's like... It's like a salmon color. Yeah. Um, or uh, coral. Is it like coral? It's, it's one of those little beachy colors. But... You know what I mean? I'm I'm wearing it right now. You know, I feel good though. Feel good. Yeah, Sam is good for you. Yeah, yeah, Sam it is good for you. You know, pink Sam. You know what I mean? And you know, what I mean, they used to wild caught. Whenever, whenever, <laughs> you know, whenever I got, uh, whenever people talk about jokes for my name, Sam is one of those names that that Get came out. out. Of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Like you know, let's say it's Salman, a, Salman, Sa Salmanda. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you know, Salamander was more, you know, that's a lizard. But yeah. but you know, still, like, they, they'll they start playing around my name. You know what mm. I mean? That's how certain people would joke around with my name. I didn't take no way, though. I don't so care. Don't play with his name. You know what I mean? Play, don't play with my name. <laughs> no, nah, it's all good. It's all good. I mean, it's my name in vain. Childhood, childhood fun. You know what I mean? They they, they don't know no better. Yeah. But, um, yeah, what, what can I say? You know, I feel good. You Talk know? about the show. Yeah, spring. Oh, yeah. See, look, I see. I already forgot about that. But um, retro is strong. You know, feel good. You know, my birthday is in um a good couple months. I'm mean, well, actually no, it's actually in a month and a half. That's right. Um, first week of June. Order your cake. Oh yeah, and but I won't too. even be here. Oh what? Yeah, got yeah. To, yeah, the show is on my birthday. Oh, yeah. so when uh when do you leave for that? Uh, we probably we don't know yet. Probably if, if it's the fourth, we're gonna live probably the first. Yeah, so my birthday's in. June 4th, you know what I mean? Shout out to John Newsom because we do have a show on my birthday um, at Vermont. And um, yeah, shout out. He set that up. And oh, we, got... we could celebrate it on the 29th of May then. Oh, that's dope. Right, you right, know. right here on the show. That's also my own's birthday. So shout out to her. <laughs> May 29th. You okay, know what I mean? That, that we have your party up in here. Hey, mm -hmm. we're gonna be we're gonna be living it up. We're gonna get, be living get you up. a cake and some females. Hey, look at that. Hey, that. Real look. quick, speaking of shows, <laughs> I have a show coming coming up in um, LA. Oh yeah, this month. Mm. Uh, this month, this month it just happened. We just made it happen, so we're gonna have uh, my man come on through in a few minutes. And Bill, we have Neptali coming through. That's gonna be exciting. Yo, hey, she's gonna be dropping some jewels, man. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be dropping some jewels. I love the. I always love to talk. Oh, uh, Bill with the sister. That's good. And um, I cut your wisdom. I'm sorry. No, you good. You good. It's all right. You know, it's gonna be a crazy show. You know what I mean? Shout out to LA. Mm. And um, you know, everybody who's gonna be there, you know. And you're gonna have somebody that's gonna talk about it. So, you know, right. you yeah. gonna elaborate it, you know what I mean? Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anybody in the back? Not yet. Negative. We see what happened to him because cause you um we're gonna promote it on the on here, on top of here. So I have a show in LA on the twenty sixth. Mm. Y'all heard it here first. Yeah. What's the venue? Oh, get it right now. Get it right now. Send, have them send us a flyer. All right. If hey. there's not a flyer, I'll make one. Yeah. Oh, that'd be dope. Yeah. That'd you know what I'm saying? For the IGs. Mm. IG mm. stories. Yeah. But oh, damn, man. yeah. Where you at, bro? <clears throat> but back to my advertising for my show. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You know, we're going to be out there in Vermont. You know what I mean? Um, If y'all can make it, you know what I mean? Much love. You can't. That's fine, too. You know what I mean? We'll tell you about it. Um, It's going to be. Yeah, Vermont. I, I I forgot the name of the venue, but shout out to John Newsom because he set that up. And he's um, gonna yeah. be at a church. Yeah, he's gonna be at a church, like a and temple. Oh, yeah, so so you, you can't say any bad words in there. Oh, oh no, yeah, exactly. Nah, but it's gonna be an art. It's gonna be artsy, fartsy, like yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. It's gonna be yeah. some upscale, like uh, um, artists. Shout out to Gustavo. He already they already did it. Um, they did something that I was supposed to have went through, but. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gonna have to rap mm -hmm. in a in a tux like Loaded Lux. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. Give my well, you know, it's gonna be my birthday, so <laughs> whatever I'm feeling that day, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it. You know what I mean? You yeah. know what I mean? I'm gonna dress a little fly because you know I'm turning 28. So damn, and, 28. yeah, 28. You know, time is flying. You know what I mean? I just told my mom that like a couple days ago. It's like time is flying. Everybody's getting older. You know, my sister's mm -hmm. birthday is in a couple weeks, so and I was like, dang, she getting older too. So crazy though, but you know, age you know age comes. Blessings and everything like that, you know? So I'm blessed to be 28, um, or at least turned in 28. So, yeah, I'm good with it. I'm rolling with it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, before we start the show, man, I want to hand this out. This, like, this is a... Uh, I'm going to hand this out. Like, AD, you got yours? Yeah. This is, this is official. Come on, we're going to do some B-Bread. Oh, you know, to open it up, man. Okay. This is uh, B-Bread. Um, we all don't know what it is. We, we don't broke it down a couple of times. 
Do a little something like this. It's already confused with the honey. Gotta just get this open. There you go. You gonna eat yours, AD? Yeah. yeah okay. He said it's a bee bread, huh? Yeah. Good one. I no but check it out. Check out. Look. You're gonna be. You're gonna have so much energy when you do it. They gotta put the honey on something. Yeah. You gotta put. Some, they make honey, honey and, and they make like their this. own bread. Mm -hmm. Here it goes like this. You see the shape? Like the cone. A hexagram? Yes. Yeah. Geometric. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Ready? Uh-huh. All right, we're going to toast and throw it in. All right, one. This is for all y'all, man. We're going to do we're gonna do the tea ceremony, too, but now we're doing it. We're going to break bread, some bread. Breaking bread with the beef bread. That's right. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It's a bit nutty. Mm-hmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The whole thing is, you gotta chew for a minute. Right. You put the whole thing in your mouth? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a lot. It's all right. It's all right. Watch, watch how I make you feel, though. You know, most of you. Damn. Yeah, it got a little tart to it. Hmm. It's smoothed out on the RB tap, then it has a. Flash it off. Right, now I can talk. All right, cool. Yeah, that was good. You know, well, I had it before though, but you know, but you know, B bread, oh, honey, good. Yeah. Got a nice little cinnamon, I'll be able to get cinnamon that. honey taste to it. There's, no, I mean? there's no toast Nick crunch. Beach. No, it's not no crunch. No crunch. More like a um, what's that? What was what type of texture? It says he in the waiting room. It's like a um, I want to say like a uh, damn, I don't... Like, it tastes like bee pollen. If y'all ever tasted bee pollen before, that's the taste of it, but it's a little bit more fermented. Mm -hmm. So you get a little aged bee pollen in there. You get you get the the finest from the finest bees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not just we don't just it don't just go to regular flowers like the uh, uh, specific flower they go to. Mm -hmm. Um, over the jasmine. <laughs> yeah, nah. Yeah, so when you get these bees, they they give this to the queen like you know. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Queen. Here you go. Oh yeah, yeah. Here you go, Man. Queen. Man, so you get the good stuff. You know, what I mean, this is stuff. The bears, the bears, be like, this what I want. Mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah, eating that up. You know, eating that up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, hey, what's up? Who we got in yo, the building? Yo, yo. Who we got it's in the building? Point. Truth, what up, my brother? Yeah. Yo, Black August. Yes, indeed, man. He's about to tell y'all something that's crazy, man. We've been doing a couple of shows. It's going to be legal season. It's going huh? to come, dog. It's coming. Yeah, yeah, man. Yo, AD, um, before we even start, could you guess his <laughs> sign? Probably maybe a Pisces. <laughs> He said, nah, that's not it. That's not it. That's AD. That's AD. No. What the vibration, man? You already see. Oh, no. there, man. It's hard, it's hard to tell with us dudes. It's easier to pick out females' signs than us dude signs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, that's real talk. That's yeah. real talk. He's right part there, of the right? lion. He's the lion family, baby. Oh, he's a Leo? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Right? You, you won't even guess my actual birthday, though, man. What? Crazy. August, August 1st. Nah. <laughs> Middle of the season. Same birthday as my boy Killer Priest. Oh, That's wow. right, baby. August 13th. No, wait, 16th. what? 16th. 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 My 16th. Bad. 16th. Yeah. 16th. Me, you, and Madonna. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, we got Young Thug, too, now. I think we got my, my, we got my right hand man, Gus, too. What up, Gus? He's up. And, then I, and then I think... Uh, I could, I might be wrong, but right. I think Raz has. Now nah, Raz, no, nah, no, nah, Raz not with us. He Raz, but, Raz, he be with us, but he not. He he's not. Uh, Raz is a Sag, I think Sagittarius. Damn, there was someone else. I remember when we were at Malone's a long time ago. Yeah, it was, it was a third. It was, and uh, oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It wasn't Raz. Yeah, shout out to Raz Cas though. Raz is yeah. Sag. I go to his birthday all the time, man. He turns it up. Or, <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. But yeah, August 16th, there's somebody, there's a couple of more, but Charlie Baltimore. Um, yeah. Who else? Uh, there's a, there was somebody recently, hmm. but I can't remember. What up, though, my man? 
Cause, you know, uh, right here, just double timing it, you know, working on these shows and, uh, you know, I got my little one right here, you know, my, my, oh, my little C. Yeah. Hey, what's peace, up? Peace, peace. Hey, hi. Why are you hiding, mom? Yeah. <laughs> He's hiding. He's being shy. He's being shy. Oh, hey, playing I'm with so- her Barbie. Yeah, yo, you always are. You, do you live in the OC area? Yeah, yeah, born and probably, raised. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't know AD man. He's from that from that area. Yeah, oh for real? Yeah, do you know Tommy? I know. I I never. I might have met him a couple yeah. times in the past, but I I don't know him. Know him like that? Yeah, 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 I, yeah. OC I, is I know a big my boy. area. It is. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. It is very big. Everybody yeah. thinks like. Like, I remember back in the day, 17 years ago, when I first started doing shows, everybody was like, OC, they're like, like, like the real OC, like that TV show on MTV, Newport <laughs> Beach. I'm like, nah, man. It's you huge. know, OC, you got to know, like, like deep in the heart of OC, like Santa Ana, you know, Anaheim, you know. Yeah, I, uh, I was in Irvine. Oh, in Irvine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. really, a, it's a county. You yeah, know what I mean? It's, it's not county. even like a city. It's a whole county. Not a city. Yeah, it's a yeah, county, yeah. It's a huge yeah, that's a good time clump there, of man. cities. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, I was born and raised in Santa Ana. So, like, this is where I was born and raised. So, that's why I've been doing shows in Orange County for so long already for these past man, 17 years. For the yeah. likes of uh, tell Tell us uh, some of the, um, some of the um, artists you had up there. Man, everybody started. <laughs> like, honestly, we've done everybody that you could think of in the hip hop game, just about, yeah, yeah. you know, minus maybe Dre and like, yeah, I don't know, Eminem or something like that. <laughs> but, right. you know, we've done, we've worked with everybody from, you know, the DJ Quicks, the Two Shorts, the E40s, um, right. to all the newer stuff that was popping back in the days, the Young Thugs, the Travis Scotts, you know, Kendrick Lamar, J. That's Cole. Right. That's right. Um, and Jizza. Yeah, always. Yeah, well, that I was going to say, and everything to what I like, you know, <laughs> all the all the Wu-Tang heads, yeah. like the whole Wu-Tang clan, no. you know. Um, but but to start it off back in the days, you know, when we first started, you know, I, I was I was working with people like, you know, Killer Priest, you know, my boy Tumex from the, the Visionaries, mm. uh, you know, rock with the rap and forte back in the days when we first, when we were first starting as well. Mm. Um, the Alcoholics. You know, like I don't know. We we work with everything like that. My heart and soul is with really with the with the underground and the real hip hop shit. You know, yeah. uh, but there there was just like a certain time and era when the Observatory, uh, which is a venue I used to work with, um, approached me. And that's when I started. I had to broaden the horizon a little bit more and be a little bit more receptive to like all the other different types of hip hop. You know, because they were an all ages venue. So, right, yeah. So I figured. But, yeah, that's it, man. Make big up, man. I figured this is the best way to promote it because, and then, then on on top of that, it's gonna go on my IG. But and on top of that, you can just send all the information to um, AD. But you can make the announcement now, man. We got enough people in, yeah. in the building. Just make the announcement. Um, hey. Where and where, who's performing? <laughs> yeah, this is this one's long overdue, man. Like like I told you, I've been knowing Killer Priest since uh back when we first started. And um, you know, I, I wanted to take it back to that, to that like that dope underground feel. So we're um, you know, I, I wanted to reach out. I reached out to Killer Priest, you know, I, I told him if he's available May 26th. I believe if I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> you correct me if I'm now? wrong, Priest. April, yeah. uh, but oh, is it April right now? Right, I thought there was a couple more days. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, you're right. I was getting ready. I thought I was thinking 26. Yeah, okay, you good. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, we, we, still, we still got over over a few, over 30 days. We got over a month to start letting it be known. Exactly. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we have we have Killer Priest holding it down, and then we also have uh, Reef the Lost Cause uh, of Army of the Pharaoh, and that's going to be going down again uh, um, May 26, and that's going down at the Virgil in L.A. This is a... Smaller, more intimate venues. So, like anybody that's going, they're gonna be getting the full like experience. Like mm. we've done, we've done two shows there so far. Um, we started off the year with the uh, Shaheem, the Rugged Child. Shout out to Shaheem. Uh, and then, um, and then we just recently did a uh, Velda Wonder, which is a, a local there. She's super dope with the uh, Yoshi Vintage, 
and and that shit was it was jumping man like it, right. every everybody had nothing but good feedback from the fans to everybody that rocked the stage from the venue um since it's a smaller more intimate venue it's it's really like it, it just gives you that full experience you know when you see them live on stage so yeah they were doing the Virgil and the Lay tickets are already going. We already got the first ticket sold. So. Hey, hey, <laughs> yeah, man, so like me. people are stoked for this one, man. Like, I appreciate you, Priest, man, from like since day one, man. We, we we've known each other for a good, a good amount of years, at least a good fifteen plus years already, man. So Indeed. I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, man. I can't wait. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. I know we got to. We're gonna be bi uh, busy this summer, this spring and summer, man. So uh, about to up? drop some more music and um, everything like that. Got the video out now. Have you seen that? We didn't even talk about that yet. Got the oh. video um, Anak out right now. Uh, check it oh, out. I'm peeping it out as soon as we we get off this live for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I'm waiting on that Thali in a minute. Hold on, let me. Let me um, yeah, Do you yeah, have a flyer me? yet for the uh, yeah, show? Totally. Yeah, I sent it to Priest. Nice. Oh, you did? Yeah. I I thought I did. Yeah, oh, yeah I right. sent it to you for approval. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's, mm. it's May 25th, right? May 26th. We're all over the place. May 26th. Yeah. 26th, yeah. so it's on a Sunday. Yes, correct. And that's actually going to be a Memorial Day weekend, I believe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So ain't, ain't nobody got to go to work the next day, so I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's Everybody right. needs to get out the house, you know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be a dope experience, you know, for for all the real hip hop heads. I, I know they're gonna be there. And we uh, also we got uh, a yeah. hold up. Shout out to Knife Prince too. I, I make sure I'm, everything's correct. Is that's the twelfth? So the twelfth, and um, that's May, right? Yeah, we got a Killer Army joint. We're gonna be in Canada on the twelfth. Oh. Yeah, we'll be in Canada. That's gonna be fire, dog. Killer Army, man. That's like that was one of those hidden gems, man. Like, sheesh, man. Like, I, I love Killer Army. I, I got them. I got those on wax. Put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> those, those type of projects I have hidden in the vault right there. You know, for my DJing days. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Or mm -hmm. shut up. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for Night but, Prince yeah. too to come on through. Yeah, man. Oh, that, okay. Um, I mean, that's it, bro. I mean. Uh, you you yeah. you can you can stick around or oh, man just hang out. I mean, we we uh yeah. we delivered it. I know you got other things to do, so man, thank you for coming yeah. through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My wife's about to walk in this door soon, so as soon as she gets in the house, it's just nonstop. You know, like yes. <laughs> yes. Drew, like Drew. the dishes are not washed and the trash is not taken out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, again, I appreciate you getting me on to to be able to you know to yeah. mention this you know to to the fans. Yeah. Um, if you don't if you don't mind me sliding in a little something, but this Sunday we got Tech Nine going down at the Fox Theater in Pomona. Um, so if you, if you are any hip hop fans out there, make sure to come people. If you guys are in the area, pull up. I got you. If you want to pull up, um, and then um, we, we got a lot of other shows. We got we got the homie Chino XL rocking the Virgil too Chino on the XL. line. Oh damn, you know, Chino XL. Afro. I'm a fan of Chino. Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we got a lot of other shows coming up. We got a lot of other shows. I think we got a show at Chris Calico too on the fifth of May. Right. Okay. What what's your Hopefully website? Um, uh, our website is being worked on right now. It's gonna be going live any minute this week, actually. So, it's it's outthehouse dot com, and it's not t h e. It's out the house d a house dot com. Uh, so you can be on the lookout for that. I'll have all our events posted on there. Uh, but for now, anybody could just hit me on Instagram. It's out the house. Uh, out d a house on Instagram. Um, you, 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 all my links are in my bio. So, if you're interested in any of those shows, pull up. All right, we got all that in the description. Oh, okay. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. But again, I appreciate you having me on. My my wife's yeah. about to pull up any minute, so I'm getting <laughs> a little, ahead, getting a little... <laughs> exactly. I don't want you to get kicked out. <laughs> nah, up, but again, I appreciate you, man. All Looking right. forward to the show. All right, get out the house, everybody. Twenty six is going down. And hey. Leo, Leo Gang, man, Leo Gang. <laughs> Leo Gang, all day. Yeah, baby. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right, dude. Take care now. Yeah. Peace. Peace.
did a lot of work out there, man. Yeah, OC area, man. So I can't wait. Yeah, mm. yeah, Jupiter's been cool. Yeah. But I, I was like, Dad, Jay always um just a kills OCs every every time mm. we doing something. You remember we was out there? That was a uh, which one? Well, homeboy, the the, the the nutrition nutrition cat. Nutrition cat. Yeah, nutrition cat. Oh, here come knife right here. I, gotta, I gotta just gotta sit down and think about it. I talked to him for a minute. Uh, solo gems. Yeah, that should be fire. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all go out there. You know what I mean? We got until um. <clears throat> Got a whole, you got a whole month, so y'all make sure y'all get out there and um support, man. You know what I mean? You know, I know y'all know y'all love Killer Freeze. So come out there, support. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's gonna be a dope show. It's gonna be a dope venue. You know what I mean? We gonna be there. You know? That's right. That's right. We gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a dope experience. You know? You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. So Canada, uh, that was ninth right there. So July thirteenth, um, that'll be Canada. Oh, it's a lot with Killer Army. So that's going to be something different. Okay. Yeah, man. Shout right. out to Shout out to, shout out to Killer fine. Army. That was Ninth Prince right there, man. Shout out to uh, Ninth Prince. Mm. Word. So, yes. Yeah, so what we had today. Um, let's see. Where we at today? I mean, today is the 18th. The phone be going crazy. Yeah. It can't be like. Uh, it's not retrograde. I mean, because it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's busy, busy. But it's like, as soon as we about to start the show, everybody, boom, 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 right there. It's like, yeah. yeah. And not just because of the show. I just think it's just like algorithms. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, no, sometimes it's, you know, see you on, and you know, everybody wants to say hi, say what's up, you know? Mm-hmm. I know how that go down, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, shout I mean, peace to everybody who's been watching. You know, we, we doing our thing. We building up day by day. And we're feeling good about it. You know, we got to be in... Uh... Retrograde is almost over, right? Yeah. It's almost over? No, I don't know. Actually, I'm just, I'm just trying to confirm that. Yeah, yeah. It's an end of the month, technically May 14th or something. Okay. All right. So we we getting there slowly but surely. You know what I mean? And it's, it's feeling good. You know what I mean? I feel like the energy is boosting up. You know what I mean? I feel like I've been in a better, high vibration now. So, you know, I feel good. You know what I mean? In my salmon color shirt. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because, you know, we don't like wearing bright shirts sometimes. You got to, like, I bring it out. You got to bring it out sometimes. You got to wear your personality a little bit, on, represent it on that day. So that's what I've been trying to do. Even though I kind of wanted to wear um, green, too, you know? Oh, yeah. But I can't wear green. It's sad. Green's yeah, one... you're going to disappear. It'd be like a floating head. Yeah, green's one of my colors. I ain't going to lie. Green's one of my colors. <laughs> I try, you know, but, you know what I mean? This is, this is cool, too. Um, I think I actually said today to wear, wear uh, light red today. It's kind of crazy. I didn't know that. It wasn't planned. It just came out like this. So it's wild. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah. I'm just right. talking to talk at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was looking at some sacred geometry. <laughs> we got Naphtali. Oh, she in the building. I was looking at some. Uh, shout out to Naphtali. Come on. Mm-hmm. That's so far. I was going to yeah. play this anyway, man. Shout out to Naphtali in the building. What's good with you, Queen? She's still joining right now. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Sad enough, sad well, up. I wanted to, um, could she see this too when I play it? She'll be able to see everything yeah. that they see. Okay, I'm going I'm to play this because I wanted to break the ice. I know we're going to talk about some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Here you go, AD. Hold on, let me, let me send this to you. Yeah. The phone went down. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Take a song. Last time I know we was talking about the uh, some of the natives and what they seen. It's in your WhatsApp, AD. Okay. Uh, welcome to the Killer Priest Podcraft. I'm your host, Killer Priest IC from the Middle East. Running rocket is none other than AD, A Dizzle. Yeah. Yeah, I know him. He's not slim, he, but he's no, he's a solo gem. Peace, Sky. You doing your thing, live life, rise and shine, and all that type of jazz. You feel me? Right. Thing. Shout out to all the moderators that's coming in the building, man, and all the people, new people that's coming through, man. Shout out to y'all, man. And we want to thank y'all so much for tuning in. And this is what it's about. It's about, um, it's about life, movement, and it's about learning and building up. It's about growing. You know what I mean? It's about information, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and elevating our thoughts so we can survive or know how to maneuver in these crazy times that's coming down, you know? Mm-hmm. So shout out to everybody that's in 
Who's that? Drew? Oh, Drew's still in the building. <laughs> Two thin, baby. <laughs> I don't think you know. You know you on, Drew? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know I'm on. Oh, I just had it muted. <laughs> yeah, 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 no doubt, no doubt. Shout out to Queen. Is the Queen is uh, Queen up Dolly still in? She's there. She's just uh, on standby. She's oh, just okay, waiting. okay. Just give her time. Yeah, give her time. So I, just, I was gonna say it's probably because I'm in the building, right? Hey, hey, you good? You good? Hey. Oh, a good. A shout out to you, man. Where um, nah, I, I was looking at some sacred ge- ge- um, geometry and shapes and stuff like that. Watch, you gonna get that boost, right? So, oh, yeah, so yeah, I love yeah. that bee bread, man. Yeah. That bee bread, honey. I like manuka honey too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Manuka honey goes in, but it goes hard. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you can play the, you can play the joint. All right. Yeah, we got, we got something mm-hmm. on go. Yeah. Some, um, this is something that uh, stars towering said. giants, offspring of divine entities and human women. Do the Nephilim giants spoken of in Genesis? still roam the mountains of Afghanistan. In early 2002, deep in the remote and rugged mountains near Kandahar, Afghanistan, like my man Rod a Sterling. group of US soldiers was involved in a search operation. Their mission was to find another patrol that had not reported back and was feared missing. This set the stage for what would become one of the most unusual and debated encounters in modern military lore. As the search team navigated through the harsh landscape, they came upon an enormous humanoid figure. Descriptions from those involved painted a vivid picture of the entity. Standing over 12 feet tall, with long red hair and a beard, and a physique that seemed almost prehistoric in its ruggedness. This being bore a striking resemblance to the Nephilim described in ancient texts. Giants said to have once walked the earth The situation escalated when the giant, who was armed with a sizable spear, became aggressive. According to the soldiers' accounts, it attacked the team, managing to kill one of the U.S. servicemen. The rest of the squad responded with their standard-issue firearms. The firefight that ensued was intense and, unlike any engagement the soldiers had trained for, legends of towering giants, offspring. Yo, that 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 was Rod Sterling, man. Shout out to Ben Frank. That sound like his voice. You know the cat who did Twilight Zone, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that sound like him. So it seems like they was getting down like that in the fifties. Mm. <laughs> Shout wild. out to. Oh man, come on, man! Somebody said the Redhead Giants. Yeah, they was talking about them, the native that they said that that's in their text. You know what I'm saying? So they said they that that's what they saw. Six fingers and having all the six fingers and things like that, you know. Shout out to uh, uh she in there? I heard a voice, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was. I, I couldn't swear I heard a voice. Nah, that was his information. Queen Neptali, are you there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, she right there. All right, I get confused with this Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? It's been a while. I'm used to StreamYard. It's been a while. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. StreamYard, Zoom, yeah, we... Zoom a zoom a zoom. <laughs> you, good. What's good with you? How you doing, Queen? Oh my goodness. Couldn't be any better. How about yourself? Oh, we maintaining. Everything is copacetic, right and exact. Where it's supposed to be, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm hearing it. Bringing out this information. <laughs> oh man, man. You the one that study, you know, you you, you do a lot of studying and we be hearing your bills. We be like, man. Oh. Sister, be going in. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, and I, I'm always keeping my head in some book. You know, a lot of people look at me like I'm strange because of what I, li- what I listen to, what I look at. But I love the supernatural. I'm not afraid of the supernatural because, you know, there is, there is, you know, we have to go beyond. You know, everybody wants to talk about science, but when you look at science, it's pretty much supernatural as well. So I don't know why people have a problem with it because either you want to believe that the earth came from just, I mean, everything was completed. I mean, everything came from just a explosion out of nowhere or maybe, you know, a God created. Whichever way you want to look at it, still a supernatural phenomenon. <laughs> mm, thought. Nothing happens without thought. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Bringing that into light. Yes. So what you think about that, what I just played? Oh, the six-fingered the six uh, giant with the red hair? 
Yeah. I love it. You know, um, they talk about giants uh, within uh, Peru. Mm. Uh, Paracas, uh, they talk about them with the uh, elongated uh, head. And they say they came over there and they had uh, six fingers. They were giants. So mm. They actually found, rim, uh, they found their skull. So they say a lot of them probably had blonde hair or uh, red hair. So they're right. all in all in the room. So. Right. Not, it's not a, it's not a, uh, it's not, you know, fairy tale. They actually have found, uh, skeleton remains, skeleton remains of, uh, whatever you want to call them, entities, uh, <laughs> you're in your car, correct? Huh? You're in your car, correct? I am in my car. Does it sound like it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. It sound like you're on the moon. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I I'm trying to get it. You, know, you want me to want me to come back in later when I get home? Um. Oh, we can hear you. Yeah, I yeah, we can hear you. It's just you know oh, not wow. the. <laughs> nah, you good. You good. It sounds like just a little distorted. I like it. Kind of good feel, especially with our background. Should we blast off? Should we talk? That's heavy. Nah, it's, that's it's cool. cool. I feel like I'm in 1947. Yeah. And that was Rod Sterling. That's what I'm saying. So everything is there. <laughs> For some reason, every time we be building everything, like sequence, be going in the sequence. Mm -hmm. You know, Niles Bourne had brought that out before. And I was like, yeah, you know, so she right on. I mean, you're right on point. Okay. Early, I was talking to her. I was like, man, you know, there's a lot of mysteries. You know, a lot of people put it to Gnostic, um, what's this, uh, Gnostic texts, some of the, in the uh, supernatural and the spiritual uh, realm. It's, and there's a saying um, that what you don't see controls and governs that what you do see. So there's some type of you know uh, always something that happens in the in the in the imagination and into the mind or is brought to straight forth that we can see and understand and comprehend it. Mm -hmm. You know, like people smoke weed uh, and people do shrooms and people do whatever, and they say that they see things that their state is altered. And that they, you know, who am I to deny them of what they said they see? Right. You know, and then the same as with any type of shaman, shaman or a high priest, or it could be a tribe leader that, you know, read the, read the stars and say, man, it's that way. And they have some type of vision or interaction because they feeling that they're not de depending on the technology, like how, like what she building on. So there's a lot of mysteries that going on. And I like, because it's, it's fun when you kind of play with the elements a little bit. You can get a little bit of loose on just building by the traditional way. You know, you can kind of like get a little loose and shoot a three-pointer sometimes. <laughs> Instead of just going for the layup. You see my man, Curry? You you good out there? <laughs> yeah. No, was Is that good. Natalia? What was that? That was you? Oh, yeah, oh, that's that. I thought yeah. that was a car. Nah, nah, like, nah. Uh, <laughs> that was halftime. Yeah, 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 yeah right? exactly. That's real, yeah. Do you feel that same way, um, Neptali? Okay, you're talking about with the uh, supernatural experience about people are having a, a hard time accepting it? That's what you're saying? Yes. Well, you know, when it comes to the supernatural, I know you were speaking to me about the angels, right? So um, you were talking about uh, Adam and Eve in the garden. Yeah. And, and, uh, so uh, with the tree of knowledge of good and evil, we see that there's trees of knowledge all around the Babylonian. Uh, and we get into that there's a tree. And pretty much all of them are telling the same story, but they're only telling the story from their perspective and from their eyes. Um, the Bible is the one that tells the story to the, uh, through Adam and Eve. And we know that the cherubim, Cherubim are the angels that act for the ones with the flame of swords. They were the ones that were they they were drawn hand first out of the doggone uh, garden, and those cherubim are the ones that were doing it with their fire uh, sword. They were guarding the tree of life because, um, you know, Adam realized his fault, and his and he was trying to fight his way back into the garden, and that's when he was he was driven out by the cherubim. Now, when we see the cherubim, we always see them classified as these little babies. You know, these little fat baby, uh, chubby little babies they have yeah. to talk about their cherubim. But that's not true at all. The cherubim actually are the, there is a hierarchy within the angels. There are nine stages of angels, and the cherubim are the ones that are second, which is the most second, second powerful out of before the cherubim. The cherubim are the ones that guard the throne of the most high. And the, 
and the cherubim are the ones that uh, they spiritually guarded. Seraphim spiritually guarded, but the cherubim Yeah, I see what, what you're saying. Is yeah, I'm just. Ch- right. Wow. I'm struggling a little bit to, to, it's coming in a little bit like, uh, like you are speaking from Apollo 13 <laughs> up in the universe, but it's cool though. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But what about the, um, you know what, you know what always tripped me out? I sound better now. I had you on the Bluetooth in my car. Does this one oh, sound better? Way better. Yeah, like yeah, way yeah, better. Bro. I won't lie. That's a way lot better. better. <laughs> I was struggling. I was somewhere lost in the garden. I was somewhere between <laughs> between the <laughs> yeah between the tree of good and evil. I didn't know what you. I said, yeah, I'm I'm here with you, but you know now I, I now I see. Yeah, I see. that sounds a lot better. Could you go over? Oh, okay. it? Yeah, yeah. Now we can hear you a little bit better. So what you were saying, just say it so the audience it could hear it a little bit better because I'm I'm seeing yeah, some things so come you, out. When you have mentioned the Nephilim, right? You have mentioned the Nephilim with the redhead giants with the six fingers. See. You know, we go back to the angels that fell, uh, and they're the ones that mix with the um, the daughters of man. Uh, when I talked about it at the beginning, we saw that um, Lucifer, who was the serpent in the garden. And he beguiled Eve, and he got her to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. But there was also another tree, which was the tree of life. And he and they were supposed to go through that tree first, and then go to go to the tree of good and uh, of, of knowledge of good and evil. But since he, you know, he did that, the many were actually cursed, and were actually were there to guard the uh, the, the entrance of the uh the garden of eden and what ended up happening is when uh the most high got upset with adam and eve he thrown them out and how he he drove them head first out right because they were adam was fighting his way back into the garden and that's why the cherubim was standing there tall with their flaming swords ready to attack and ready to uh you know do whatever they have to do to keep adam and eve from coming back in now when I talk about the cherubim, everybody always thinks the cherubim are all these little cute, you know, little fat babies with little diapers on, you know, little wings. But that's not the true depiction of the cherubim. The cherubim are actually very strong and powerful. Uh, you got there. There is nine levels to angels. You got the arch, you know, the archangels and all that, which was, um, you know, Michael, who actually uh, fought Lucifer and kicked him out of heaven. And mm-hmm. then when you go all the way up to the second level, I mean, up to the uh, highest level, which are the seraphim, and then they're the ones that actually are surrounding uh, the most high's uh, throne. They're personally there with the most high. And then after that, they have the cherubim who are the ones that guard the most high's throne. So that's what we're seeing. Now, these angels, they fell down. Some, a lot of these angels had fallen because they saw the daughters of man. Remember, uh, Man was given, uh, we, we weren't given uh, mar- uh, immortality. Um, we, uh, we're the ones that had, he gave us children to complete, you know, that's why we had children because we weren't immortal. And uh, the angels were given immortality and that's why they weren't able to have children. That's why they were supposed to stay up in heaven and they weren't supposed to go down and have any sexual relations with the daughters of man. But what ended up happening is they saw these daughters and they were very, uh, you know, they really wanted to, you know, they really wanted to get with these these women. I guess they were very beautiful from us. Last <laughs> They came down. Don't worry about that. They we came just moved. down and they, you know, they began to create their own offspring. Mm-hmm. Remember, they created offspring. These are immortal, and they they made it with mortal. So that's why we have these spirits. That's why we have these entities. We have these uh, what people want to call them demons or whatever you want to classify them as, because the nephilim, their bodies. Right, their bodies die because they're human, but their spirits live on because they're also immortal. So with that, that's why we have these 
uh, spirits or, you know, evil spirits or whatever people want to call them. And um, that's why we have these. That's why we're hunted and plagued by them because of these doggone angels that fell and they started to, you know, uh, they knew the daughters of men sexually. I mean, the daughters of the men sexually. That's why women were said to cover their heads. You know, we're not supposed to walk around without our heads being covered because those angels are looking down and they're looking like, hey, these women are, you know, beautiful. And that's why Lucifer was upset. Lucifer was upset because the angels were created to serve man. They were supposed to come here and help us. But Lucifer was like, I'm not serving no man. And then he also wanted the women. So, you know, he fell down. Uh, you know, when you go into the book of Enoch, they talk about some and mm -hmm. the band of angels. I believe it was 200. Mm -hmm. And all of them made a pact with each other. And they said, hey, we are going to go down here. We are going to do this. We're not going to back out on each other. And that's when they all dropped down. And that's when they started to, you know, not only they wanted to be worshipped, they wanted to be praised. So they started teaching man how to, you know, about how to garden, how to form, how to create um, weapons, talk to them about metals, you know, all these different things. And when we look at that, we can actually see that in history. We can actually see that being taken place historically. You know, we when you hear the stories of uh, about, uh, let's say, for instance, the Native Americans, they say that they were visited um, and they say that they taught them about how to, you know, plant uh, specifically the Mayans, right? The Mayans, they had created that calendar and um, they were said that they were taught, they said they were visited. So you go into the Dogon, you go into all these different, um, you know, tribes and different people, you'll see that they all talk about um, something coming to visit them and providing them some form of knowledge or some form of information. You know, we just had the solar eclipse and a lot of people showed up for that. And a lot of people don't understand why that was such a big deal. You know, it, it, it is because it all goes back to some form of entity or some form of deity, which is nothing more than a fallen angel, if that makes sense. Mm. Are you referring to the, what was it called? The Devil's Comet? Are you referring to the Devil's Comet? Have you heard of that? I'm in my car. I do that. Huh? I'm sorry. Did you did you hear me, Candace? Did yeah. you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. I heard you. You said that the solar eclipse. People didn't know what that was about. Could you tell? I I was I was just throwing something out there, but could you tell us? More about what, what was that about on a spiritual level? Like, what was that about? Well, we know that the Aztecs and the Mayans built these ziggurats um, to be able to observe these stars in the celestial, you know, the celestial um, aspect of it. Now, as far as what does the um, solar eclipse done for them personally, I'm not 100 percent sure. Hmm. But I know that they um, a lot of these different, um, you know, like these different uh, times, like with the eclipse, that's when they would, um, you know, do some kind of sacrifices and, you know, worship and praise and acknowledgement of their God. You know, when their God, Quetzalcoatl, um, Koku Khan, uh, whichever one you want to uh, classify them as, you know, they're different deities. You know what's crazy about that? Because you got, you have to have a, a watcher because, like, if they didn't have, you know, like, what did they have, like, to know when it was coming? Like, oh, is that time of, you know, they, I don't know about the sundials and any, anything like that, but you have to be observing of the, of the galaxy to even know that time was going to come. So they was always out there thinking deeper. What would you say? Well, a lot of this, they were taught. When you look into the book of Enoch, they tell you that they came down and they, they taught man because they wanted to be worshipped. Now, one thing in particular when we talk about the uh, the Amorites or the Mayans is that they talk about being visited by um, a, like a, a deity or a man that had hair that was like corn silk, which is pretty much blonde, like blonde hair. Mm. And when we look at that type of deity, um, it goes back to Odin. Now, we all know that um, that uh, the Vikings are said to have come over here to the Americas. And we know that they're North, the North Nordic god, Odin, was to have blonde hair. And when you go back and you research 
um, this deity and how they came over, then we'll see that um, that that deity matched Odin. And we go back to Quetzalcoatl. They said that he was a fair skinned, blonde hair, blue eyes uh, mm. when you go to Quetzalcoatl. So um, that's pretty much. And then, like I said, all these deities are pretty much the same. The only difference is, is that they call them different names and they worship them differently. But we all know they build the ziggurats. We all know they build the pyramids, whatever, which, uh, whichever way they wanted to classify it. Mm -hmm. And then when we go into South, we go into Peru, that's mm -hmm. when you see the Paracas. That's when you go down and you see them having the, um, elong, the elong-headed deity, I mean, elong-headed Nephilim that came and visited these giants with red hair and, and uh, blonde hair as well. So mm -hmm. it actually sounds like they may, made it in... Um, with these um, uh, uh, fallen angels with the blonde hair and then created these offsprings with the um, red hair and the um, giants with the elongated skulls. Mm. Have you seen the elongated skulls? Have you seen the size of them? Man, I've seen some things. Yeah, I've seen some things. <laughs> it kinda, it's kind of crazy when you think about it. You know, some of the... Um, some of the pictures, I think, uh, in some of the um, Kemet pictures, they had a uh, heads like that. It would be in. Yeah, be in that's right. Head. And they found them. They actually unburied them in Peru. You and know, Peruvian um, too, right? Peru. Yeah, the yeah the Peruvians. So, you know, I I really wanted to take some time and actually visit Machu Picchu. You know, because there's a um there's a lot going on in Peru, and uh, with the Paracas. So um, I, I really want to get further into that. But a lot of people are intimidated or feel like the fallen angel thing is, is laughable. But it's not because when you see that these people were, were getting up every day to sacrifice to these deities, you know, um, we got these. I'm in St. Louis and we have these mounds in right. Cahokia. Right. And matter of fact, we have mounds there. I think they're trying to disguise a lot of these mounds. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're, you know, bulldoze a lot of them, but we have a lot of these mounds and they have, you know, gone into these mounds and they have found, you know, all this jade, you know, uh, all these jade and all these different um, burial sites. And they also have found, you know, where a lot of people were killed, um, sacrificed. You know, they have mm -hmm. them, um, you know, they have them where there was a lot of cannibalistic activity that took place. Mm -hmm. um, they say that their God re uh, required the blood of humans for this for the sun to come up, and mm -hmm. they feared that if they didn't uh, if they didn't sacrifice somebody that the sun wouldn't even come up. And you know, people want to say that these are myths, but my thing is is why would people go to these lengths to do something that's not true and real when we see these people were very sophisticated? You know, when they built the megaliths, right? Yeah. Well, wow. The, um, mm hmm. Yeah, well, I was going to just add on a little bit because, all right, okay. you know, like with drug dealers, right? So they know that because they, in, in the time when they were sacrificing um, people to their gods, to their deity, it's like money has become a new god. Like everybody do things for money. Mm -hmm. So to get money, you do anything. They even call it blood money and even put hits on people. And, you know, drug dealers know that this this substance that I'm giving you is killing you. Maybe kill your whole family. So it's a form of sacrifice if you look at it. I'm talking about deep, dark drugs, fentanyl and all of this stuff like that. And they still do it knowing that they do it. They do it for the love of what they have to get. So if you look at it, it's like because the times are different. They know, nobody's taking nobody on um, um, a mound and burning them and putting them on, you know, putting the chains on, waiting for Kong. Or, you know, just what I'm saying is like killing them like that. But I think that the times were different. So when you look at it the way you're saying it, like if you if you look at it in uh, today's fashion, you'll see it a little bit different because there is sacrifice going on, but it's done by a deed uh, and it looks cool. But then you're killing your own people by sacrifice because you know it's going to destroy even babies, you know, of what you give them. And you know that they take it. And even on another thing, pharmaceuticals, which is, you know, pharmaceutical, the farm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, what, what, what they do is they, they promote alcohol and, and drugs over the counter. And they kind of like sacrifice. They know that's why they even put it on the, on the bottles, just to put it a little bit to what you're saying about the sacrifice, just to add on. 
to you because you said that people don't, don't what for what if some did not believe? That's my question to you. <laughs> for real. I'm sorry, but some do, some don't. We got a super chat too. Okay. All right. Uh, Jamie Uncensored says, I, yeah, oh, man. You got to keep the, oh, okay, read it, <laughs> gotta read it. I eat my wife all the time, baby. Yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but see, that's what she was, what she was talking about is like, so what if some, <laughs> that, that was funny, Jamie. <laughs> Yeah, 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 he sacrificed his wife, put it that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it his decency? <laughs> Shut up. Um, but just add on, but I don't want to stop your bill where you're going. But I just want to add on to you that sacrifice was a real thing. Like, so when you speak on that, you know, that no one's doing that, they would just like, they're doing it on another level. They don't call it murder anymore. They changed the name of things because society got more sophisticated. You know, mm-hmm. one time there was it was a different world. So when there's a whole different world, people thought different, and you didn't have TV. You had to go about stories of what people said and things that people saw was actually real. What they saw back in, in that time. Mm. Just add on. Shout out to Deborah D. Shout out to Deborah D. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just adding on to you, uh, you you take take a whole little will. It's back it's back to you. Uh, I just wanted yeah, to add on. Conversation. I, you know, I'm in my car. I don't have my notes in front of me. So if you guys just want to build, I don't know your son's name. Solomon. Solomon. Okay, Solomon. How are you doing, Shalom? Most high bless. Um. God bless. Yeah. So if you guys want to come in and and you know land me back off of what I'm saying, please do. You know, come on in. Let's um let's dialogue. But. When yeah. I talked about the uh, cannibalistic uh, activity as well as the sacrificial activity, when you look at the name cannibal, that actually comes from the Canaanites. And it also goes to the god Baal. All of this is about the god Baal. You mm. know, everybody everybody thinks that this is, uh, uh, you know, when you look at Marduk, when you look at, um, let's see, like I said, yeah. Koku Khan, you look at Zeus, you look at Odin. They all are the same deity. The only different difference is, is that they all go up to Baal. That's who they are. Mm. And when you look at cannibal, that's for Canaanite and that's Baal. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That goes to their god, Baal. So every time you see this cannibalism, mm. it's them worshiping Baal. They may not be saying the name Baal, mm. but they're actually worshiping Baal. And these names, Koku Khan, Quetzalcoatl, Marduk, um, any of these different deities that you name, all those names have meanings. Patty LaBelle. Uh, <laughs> Patty LaBelle, she too. Ricky Bell. <laughs> no, but I understand what you're saying. No, because ball is right. We, what we said about football and basketball, it's the biggest, everyone would go, but the word ball is in there. If you look at all the people go to see, and I love football, you know what I'm saying? I love, I love it's the all ball. Team. They want you to think you live on a ball. <laughs> 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 wow, I mean, think about it. That I'm is deep, though. You heard what he just said. That was that's kind of heavy, though. I give you that one. He said they wanted you to think you to live on a ball, which uh-huh. goes back to Bell. You know what I mean? Or ball or the worship of uh, a. Yeah. What, what what's but that? I, Did that have to do something with sacrificing people? What what, what is the uh, the god ball course. about? Yeah. Yeah. When you look at antebellum South, the mm. antebellum South, that all goes back to Bell as well. See, everybody, when you go to jail, who do you have to pay? You have to pay bail. Oh, wow. That's what this is about. When you go to jail, you pay bail. Mm. You got to get bail. Yeah. You got to pay bail. So when you got to pay bail, what mm. happens is, is that, uh, and people need to understand this. And Ooh, I say this. You know, cooking. Hold up. Because you got, hold on. What about paying your bill? <laughs> that could be connected to it. Like, bill, pay your bill. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, man. And, when you, call on, when you call on bail, you're asking for help. You need bail to bail you out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them used to call on bail. Like when the like for instance, when you go to and I'm and I'm pulling on the uh, Aztecs and stuff because um that's who I'm really studying. I'm looking into them right now. So mm. when you look at the Aztecs and you look at the Mayans, at one point in time they went through severe drought and they mm. were, you know, that's when they started to increase the sacrificing. And they were calling on Baal. They're like, please, please, you know, make it rain, make it rain. But see, there's somebody above Baal. Right. That's the most high. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they and they when you when you calling on Baal, the most high allows Baal to take charge because of the sinning that we do. 
And that's what happens. Baal gets to take charge and put curses on us. And that's why a lot of us go through trials and tribulations. So a lot mm. of them, you know, they even have Baal in their name. Annabel, Clorabel. And Baal is also mean to be beautiful. So a lot of them carry the, the name Baal in their names. And then when you go to jail, you need Ooh. to get bailed out. Damn. Oh, and, that was cold. Wow, Wait, yeah. hold on, hold up, hold up. We gotta slow it down a little bit. Let's let's put. I'm gonna put it on a uh, simmer. I'm gonna put it on two because you you cooking right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she up there. We need some how to cook it. Let's turn down the degrees a little bit so it can simmer a little bit because you're going in. You said Bell Bella because Bella doesn't mean beautiful. In Spanish, it, it's Bella, Bella in mm. Spanish. Bella. Yeah. Bella, that's, Bella Donna. Yeah. That's close to, that's a flower also. And that's mm -hmm. close to um, Bella. It's Italian. And in Italian, I think mm -hmm. it means beautiful. And Bella. So Bella means good. It's yeah. also the bull. Mm. And that's Taurus. Mm. Taurus is ruled by Venus, mm. the planet of beauty. Mm. Wow. Bell, Bella, beautiful. Wow. Bull. Bull. And that mm. was the first deity, if you think about it, right? Was the. Uh, I'll ask, uh, I'll ask uh, the expert on this. So, <laughs> Nephthali. No, no, the worship, the first worship of a, I don't know if that was a, but, I, but a bull was considered as God, right? Am I correct on that? Or? Yeah, there, there are bulls that are worshipped. Um, uh, one second. Yeah, the bull god, you know, is Baal. You know what I'm wow, saying? So, oh, you, I was in there. <laughs> yeah, you was in there. You was in there. <laughs> and I also want to bring in Jezebel, right? Everybody knows Jez <sighs> Jezebel. A lot of them kept the name Baal. If you notice, they'll have the name Baal in their name. So whenever you look at it, Jezebel, yeah. she's, you know, it's Baal. You know, uh, so all that of life. that, all of that goes back to the deity bail. So you can't let nobody say, hey, I don't, you can't fool me. I know mm. what you're doing here with this bail. <laughs> mm. You know, when you look at the ball bag, like everybody looks at, you know, the you know, they look at Rome with the Colosseum, look at Rome with the Colosseum, but there's actually something called ball bag, which is even more, uh, is where they channeled it from. They got it from ball bag, which is the tower of ball for oh. bail. And if you want to, you can show it uh, for us, AD, if you don't mind. Yeah, uh, <laughs> what am I looking up specifically? Um, ball deck. You're looking at ball deck. Let's see how this. Look. See how this cat look. B A L. Oh, you also can look up the the, uh, the Paracas skulls for people can see the elongation of the skull, so people will know the Bo the how large and how you you know the you know for them to know okay. that they actually existed. These are giant skulls. They're not like regular human skulls. Mm. They're mm. really huge. There you go. There they are. Hey. Yep. That's the mm. skull. And they say they don't have the sagittal, sagittal uh, suture that's supposed to be in the middle. We all have the sagittal suture. It mm. says it lacks that. Oh, yeah. You see how it looks like an alien? Mm -hmm. So that is what they actually found in the in Paracas, Peru. They actually found that. In the, and they all said that they come, they have the genetics. And they've done it. They say they all are humans. Right, they have the human genetics, but we know that there's something else going on with these skulls. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's something else in them. That's not that's not all human. We know and, that. That's Nephilim. Right now, mm -hmm. we're talking. I'm having my tea, my, my tea now, and we're talking. We're talking about like well, what we're talking like thousands of years, hundreds, thousands of years ago. So you know, to them, it was just like regular, probably whatever they saw back then. Right. Yeah. You know, it was just like, oh my. My goodness, they probably was used to it. No, they were mesmerized by his beauty. When they oh, said okay. that Odin, when they said that Odin arrived, mm. they were intrigued. They were, you know, mystified by him. And mm. um, he taught them. He brought great knowledge and information mm. to them. And mm. you know, that's you know, and that's why they looked to the stars, and um, were able to create this, you know, this mm. calendar, which they say was actually probably a compass. So mm. with that understanding, that means that they were doing some form of traveling too. They weren't as primitive as people as people want to uh, project them as being. They were doing some form of traveling. I actually been looking into this, and don't quote me on it, but I don't have my notes. Right. But I saw somewhere where they said that in Greenland they had Native Americans actually trading with them in Greenland. 
So I'm wow. still researching that. But if you guys want to take it a step further, let wow. me know what you think. Wow. <laughs> yeah, look that up. Greenland trading with uh, Giants. Yeah, this is, this is wild. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Somebody, I looked in there real quick, and uh, someone said Red Bull. Yeah, mm. so who's that? Yeah, that's, the chat room is on fire, man. Yeah. They they be on point. Two bulls, mm -hmm. and it's the second sign. Wow. Red Bull. Yeah, and you know what the main ingredient in Red Bull is? What? Taurine. Taurine. Taurus. Wow. Mm. Tor Taurus Torsion Phil. Yeah. Torsion Phil. Taurus Phil. Yeah. yeah also, your torso. Because yeah, you have a, you have your own Taurus field that goes through your torso. Uh, wow, that's also Taurus, and then so is the uh, taurine in Red Bull. Mm. You do a whole thing on Red Bull. Red Bull, yeah. It's actually better than regular soda because it has real sugar instead of high fructose corn mm. syrup. Yeah, well, they look like she said. Uh, go, let's go back to uh, Queen Natalie. Yeah, I'm looking she at. She said it was a beauty thing, though. Greenland, so that's yeah. Giants. What what was it? It sounds like a football team. You what? What you want us to look up? Naphtali. Oh, uh, ball deck. Ball deck. Ball deck. Ball deck. Because that's bringing up Home Depot. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. B a l d e c k. Oh. Not bald. B b a l. Not not bald. This is ball deck. Put God next to it. Did it come in? It. Really correct. And uh, then go to uh, all. Oh, wait. no, that's not there. Ball deck. It's almost like Molek. Mm. It's all good. We can put together <clears throat> something. Get it out. Uh, what, and you what, know, I'm what, about to come back when I'm not in my car and I can actually have my presentation available yeah. for everybody. Yeah. I, I like when you did the one um, about Atlantis. Oh mm. yes, I'm gonna and you know what? Um I'm I'm really wanna get back into the Atlantis because you know they, they're trying to say that the eye of Africa could possibly be the lost, you know, the lost uh city of Atlantis. They say it could be the eye of Africa. If you guys look at the eye of Africa, if you're familiar with it. <laughs> Let's pull up the eye of Africa, man. She going there. Yeah, the oh, eye damn. of Africa. Uh they say that's that's that was a what part is of that? Atlantis. That's crazy. Wow. Where's that at? Well, you know, they have, um, you know, they say Atlantis was having all these different um, circles around it when you look at Atlantis. And when you look at the eye of Africa, it actually simulates. Uh, it, oh. it looks exactly like I see that. it now, the lost oh. city of Atlantis. Wow. Uh, that's wild. It does match. Well, yeah. Yeah. At first I was thinking it could be a launch pad. Or, okay. you know, something they use. But it, it does make sense if that circular type of mind. city. If you've ever looked at uh, the concept of creating the Venus Project, it was like a futuristic type city. Every time they showed depictions of futuristic cities, it was similar to some type of circle. Mm. And then, like, you know, sky towers. Mm. Everything is kind of going back to this design to where it's around a circle. That's interesting. Right, 2024 has been an interesting year. Yeah. Very interesting. We just getting started. Yeah, we're not even halfway done. Mm hmm The cicadas already started. They already started coming out a little bit. So I missed I missed the first hundred. Mm -hmm. There's supposed to be a trillion, so I guess I missed all five hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I'm gonna worry about it. They came out in uh in uh North Carolina. And then y'all call them June bugs, right? You was telling me. He's like, uh mean June bugs, yeah, yeah. we call them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I just got uh, a message from Mighty Hebrew. He says, Kahan, Kani, priest of Baal, is Bel in Hebrew. Wow. It's called the Eye of the Sahara. Wow. The Eye of the Sahara. Yeah. Shout out to Mighty Hebrew. Wow. Dang. You got a super I chat from Jamie Uncensored. Right. He says, That hoodie is a hint, Killer Priest. Gonna be a Snoop Lion and be Priest Lion and eat motherfuckers. Ha <laughs> uh, No doubt, man. It's the armor. I said I gotta wear armor today. <laughs> yeah. My armor. You do have a reggae album, though. Mm. Yeah, I got some. <laughs> yeah, reggae? you remember that? Yeah. 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 Priest, got, Priest got reggae music. 
Okay. We worked on some stuff. Yeah, that's okay. a while back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's crazy. All right. All right. Yeah, <laughs> they work on some stuff, man. That's one. That's one and of the my... new stuff you did with uh... Guam. Guam. Yeah, Guam. I was there for. Man, dang, so you, you, um, ah, man, I could tell you did some extensive studying on this. It's crazy, right yeah, there. Yeah. I have uh so ball deck. We couldn't find that right away. Um, do you know how to spell it? Oh, B-A-L-B-E-K? B as in boy, E-K? Try that and put God next to it. Let's see what's up. What's that again? Ball deck. So I, I got a couple of mysteries that mm. I want. Well, it came out. Soccer player. There it goes. There you go. Hey. This is a... Uh, wow. Ball dev. Well, I'll, we'll wait. You know what? I'll, we'll is wait. there an India God? <laughs> No, it's Baal. B A A L. Oh, Baal. Yeah, Baal Beck. B E K. Lebanon. There it is. Hey. Now. They got it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know what See, everybody Go always goes back to Rome as if the Romans are the ones that started this. Mm. No. And if you think about it, this is all the way to the ball. This is all about ball. You see, mm-hmm. you see how the how all of these temples or what they want to call his uh, historic buildings or what we see today as civil or what we would say are uh, like a White House and things like that. All of those things emulate or imitate these this structure here, which all this goes back to ball. Mm. Are these pillars? Them, they're not ashamed either. They know that <laughs> they know they're proud. A lot of them are proud of who their God is. A lot of them aren't ashamed. <laughs> Mm. Are these pillars of ivory? <laughs> no, they're not. Not of ivory. Hey, he's, it's all right. Hey, he's just doing a joke. That's one of my rods. Uh, <laughs> That's so funny. They yeah. could have been made it's of ivory. Pillars. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a real question. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, they could have, but no, not this one. Um, mm. They also do a, a, a celebration or a festival there to honor Baalbek. Mm. Mm. And you guys got to think about Europa. Is actually the goddess, and that's where Europe received, it, received its name, Europa. Europe. Mm. Yeah, Europe received its name from Europa, and the whole story about Europa is Zeus coming down and he him seeing her and creating offspring. And, you know, it's a lot. I I uh, wish I was prepared more. That's I would fire. Be What'd she say? That's dope, though. She just dropped some good knowledge right there. Say it again. I'm talking about Europa and where Europe received its name. Mm-hmm. Zeus was supposed to have come down mm. and made it with this woman. And that's where, and created offspring. And that's where the name Europa, that's where they named uh, Europe after, is Europa. If you guys want to share that, Europa is yeah, the same see. as Europe, but um, R-O-P-A instead of you know, Europa. Okay. But anyway, this if you got anything true. else you guys want to ask me, that's fine too. Yeah. I love it. No, that's good. Yeah, we yeah. love it. We love it. Love it. Uh, yeah, look up Europa. 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 It was yeah. this. That's Europa. Yeah. No, but you with an E, like Europe, but uh, um, mm. it's like you're saying Europe, but instead of, you know, the ending with a P. And it's also a uh, mm. moon. Yeah, it's also Jupiter's moon is Europa. Oh, yeah. When I have. Wow. Yeah, they do actual poems to Europa. And uh, a lot of, when they did the solar eclipse, a lot of them were doing poems. If you ever Google it, there she is. If you ever Google Europa and a poem for Europa, you'll see them actually doing a poem for her, as well as Umbra, which is where we get Umbrella from. Mm. It's a goddess by the name of Umbra. Mm. And what they try to do, they try to hide it and say that they're praising the, you know, sending praise to the moon Europa, but we know who they're sending praise to. They're actually sending it to the goddess Europa. And um, when mm. I talk about Europa, we also have to know that this was during the solar eclipse is when they did this. They actually did a poem for her on this, the day of the solar eclipse. Mm. And there she is on the bull. There she is on the bull. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, that's it. Yeah. Which is, Baal, which is Baal. Yes, she's on the bull. Isn't it also and Mithra? That's Europa? Yeah, yep, that's that's Europa. Mm-hmm. 
And if you That's guys want to look at her her story, we can look at her story. I, like I said, I don't have everything with me, but we can look at her story and we can all see, you know, everybody talks about Zeus. Well, guess what? Zeus was with her and created offspring. Mm. And uh, that's when we get to his, his uh, you know, his lineage is through Europa. And we see that they named their, their continent after her, a whole continent. Wow. And, you know, you got to pay bail. You got to pay him. <laughs> Dad, Deborah D said Europe is an alien You got to pay him. Got to pay bail. Dad. Wow. Got to pay him. Gotta pay you want to get bail. out? Got to pay him. Got to pay bail. That's crazy. Wow. M- Mighty mm-hmm. Hebrew says also I know, I know, she too. was a black female goddess of Ethiopia. Mm. Mm. Go to Europa. Well, Europa. Tell Mighty Hebrew to hit the link and start and, and start teaching himself then. Come on, Mighty Hebrew. Come on now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mighty, oh, he's a right. Mighty Hebrew. To the novice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to I wanna show. He just said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he, he's a professor. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he, he talks about the Romans and all of them. So. <laughs> yeah, he, he said, talks about the naga. The who? The naga, which is serpents. Yeah, nagas. Yeah. When you get into the serpent, that's why when you talk about serpents, you get into uh, Quetzalcoatl or Coco Khan. All of them, the different deities, all go back to the serpent. A lot of people want to say that they're seraphim, but that's not correct. Which is an angel. They're not seraphim. They're just well. They probably are. They could have been the fallen. Yeah, they could have. Seraphim could have fallen too. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. I'm interested in hearing Mighty Hebrew. He comes with a whole nother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> he goes. Oh, I know. I, I know. He's people a... are probably looking at me like, "What is she talking about?" No, 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 no. It's great that you're doing this. I'm telling you, this is an upliftment for women. And um, because it's like, I really appreciate it. Yeah, for real. Because uh, dropping knowledge like this is very important. And it's like, it's like, it's okay to have an open mind. It's okay to be, you know, because you might think, y'all, I feel like I'm different, but that's the one you, you, that's when you get into who you are. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, last thing. Uh, and everybody think people it. may laugh, but but when but there's something to be about. Huh? You're in the class. You know when they say you're in the class by yourself? There's something about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nobody else is in your class. You're in the class by yourself. And that, that means that you you into it. You you get to know who you are. You get to see everything else. You don't, you're don't. you not a follower like everybody else. A lot of people want to be down with everybody else. But when you into you, you get into your zone and... and you know, not just a tag along and tag along. I want to, I want to make this, impress this person, impress this person, and you just do it because it's coming from your heart. That's the way to do it. I'm a blast off. High class. Blast off. That's, That's right. real, man. High class, top shelf. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. All right. So, Marty Hebrew said, uh, "I'm trying to get it like, oh. back to the future." Mm-hmm. Mm. They were called the. Uh, she said, "Queen Naphtali is correct." The word Europe uh, goes back to the Greco-Latin word Europa, which was the black female goddess of Ethiopia. Europa goes back to the Hebrew word Ereb, which means the darkness and gloomy. Read what I wrote. Start from here. Okay, start from here. And uh, he says, uh, I told him, uh, he says, Kahan. He says, Canaan, priest. Baal, Baal. He said, in Hebrew, is called the Eye of Sahara. Is located northwest of Africa. See, we know where it's located at. Northwest of yeah. Africa. He'll mm-hmm. give you the coordinates. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And it says Atlantis, original is uh, Patala, was founded by the Antiduvian times by a group known as uh, the Romala. The Romala. Yeah, the Indian go back. Uh, Hindu goes back too. A lot of green gods there too, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Atlantis, Atlantis is west from west, northwest. Dad, you know the directions. Mm. Dave Voss is tuning in. <laughs> Shout out to Dave Voss. Hey, Word. So, let's go. Yes. Well, shout out to Mighty Hebrew. You know he uh, definitely brought a lot of knowledge and information to me uh, as far as that uh, Atlantic Atlantean um, encyclopedia. 
I hold firm to that. I, I read that all the time and, and utilize that in my studies. And for those of you that don't know who I am, uh, I, my name is Naftali. I have a channel. It's called New School of Thought, Naftali's New School of Thought. And what I do is I teach on all these different things. I have a Canaanite series. A lot of what I'm teaching on right now, I have in my part three series. And I like to talk about uh, giants. I talk about them. I talk about Bill, who is this um, so-called Jesus that they're showcasing. <laughs> That's who that is, is Baal, uh, Baal. And a lot of them worship Baal, and we just don't know. And that's what the that's what the best part is about. The best part about this is hidden knowledge. You know, there is they tell you not to read certain things, but how can something be a secret society without secrets? Right? We have yeah. to understand that. Yeah. If something is a secret, they tell you, oh, don't read. Oh, don't, don't, um, uh, don't read this book and don't, uh, look into this information. You know, like, don't read the book of Jubilees. Don't read the book of Jasher. Uh, don't read this. This is pseudo. And it's like, mm -hmm. if somebody wants to tell you not to read something, reading is fundamental. It doesn't matter what you read. Don't tell anybody not to read something. There's always, you know, good, you know, information somewhere, but they tell you not to read it because they don't want you to. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a secret. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's real. Wow. Philip B said, preach. You're going in. Oh, man. You, you're doing your thing. They say, eat the meat and spit out the bones. Eat the meat and spit out the bones is what you're supposed to do. But no, these people want to keep you hidden underneath these secret societies mm -hmm. because the way they be, you know, they're gatekeepers. And the way they keep you out is by telling you not to look into it. And when, some, when you start to hear people tell you not to look into things or not to read things, that's when you need to give them the side eye, like, hey, what are you trying to hold back from me? You know what I'm saying? So they're trying to hold this knowledge and information because, you know, knowledge or truth and knowledge will set you free, right? So yeah, that's, people... what, that's what I talk about. I try to, you know, I'm a truth seeker. You know, I'm a truth yeah. seeker and I'm trying to find the truth. And sometimes this truth is stranger than fiction, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, be you brave for taking those paths because <laughs> a lot of people are too afraid to even go down those paths and even read the other things. Yeah. yeah. So they'll just immediately get scared of information and say, oh, that's evil. Oh, that that's demons. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They, they're too afraid to walk that path. And you know what I'm saying? Not all knowledge is for everybody. No, that's true. But, you know... I, they get caught up into the curriculum, you know what I mean? Whatever's being taught in schools, that's what they're caught up into. So that's what happens, you know what I mean? They get so stuck in that thought, that's why, you know, you feel me? That's why it's so crazy when somebody's talking something deep. Oh, send me the link. So, sorry, you know. so. No, nah, yeah. that's just how it goes well, down. Um, I he, said he, love, he said he loves listening to you uh, teach. Uh, that's from Mighty Hebrew. She said, send me the link. Oh, well, tell him I'm honored. Thank you, Mighty Hebrew. I truly appreciate it, you know. When people talk about science, we go into the go into evolution and they talk about humans coming from apes. Well, we have to look at the Anunnaki because the Anunnaki are gods that are said to come down who created humans from apes. So we have, mm. have to realize that a lot of this information that they're so-called teaching and they want to say is science is actually this information, Babylonian doctrine that they're trying to withhold, but also share their their deity but also withhold the information of people who believe in evolution and that human beings came from uh, apes have to understand that when you just add in the Anunnaki, they're the ones that came down and created humans from apes. And people have a hard time accepting something coming down and creating humans from apes, but they're willing to accept apes just out of nowhere and just deciding to evolve. And guess mm. what? Why aren't these apes evolving now? I just was at the zoo and mm. I was looking at them and they were all hanging in ha hammocks and stuff uh, ham uh, and hammocks and all kinds of stuff and I was like why you know they're going extinct why mm. aren't they why aren't they producing you know trying to get themselves to repopulate yeah it's just, since you know they say that this is done it was someone's theory Darwin right it's a theory but people yeah. are losing yeah, Darwinism. Mm -hmm. Hold on one Whoa. second. I got to get something. Go ahead and take over real quick. Hillary. Carlo yeah. Cross says Darwinism is a theory of many he had that he claimed himself is not plausible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Sometimes they hear other people talking. You know what I mean? And then they make their book and they get out there. And they get, <laughs> you can't catch them, especially Einstein. 
you know, most of his ideas came from, you told me, right? Um, that most of his ideas came from Tesla. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, it is what it is. So, you know, it is what it is. You Tesla just, was hardcore scientist. Man. Yeah, some people just have it. You know, that's their purpose. That's their passion. Yeah, Muhammad Ali was a great, great boxer. That's what he could do. That's his purpose. That's his passion. Yeah, but if you want Muhammad Ali to the the open up a little shop, you don't be doing like that. Make you eggs and stuff like that. Yeah. It ain't gonna be. It ain't not gonna be the same. Stick to your purpose. Get to what you what what, what you do. You know what I mean. Stay to what you do. Who who want eggs made by LeBron James? Hey, but if he <laughs> if LeBron James makes some good ass eggs, I don't know. Come on, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not trust gonna it? doubt. Would you trust it? Yeah. I'm just saying. If you say, "Yo, man, I made this last night," you know what I mean. You, you, you love make to some see bomb food field. too. You huh? make some, you make some pretty good bomb food too. And I'm you're an amazing different. rapper. Thank you. Mark. You never know. Yeah, I'm a little different. Some people who are amazing at yeah. things are also. A bit but I say, if you it. want, yeah, right off top. I mean, if you if you okay, you, you know wouldn't expect them. Well, you want to see? Well, who want to see LeBron throw on some skates? You know where I'm going at. Yeah, yeah, and skating yeah. up the. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Getting into you know Rasul will, will take him out probably in skating. You know what I'm saying? But you know the person is great. Shout out to Tahuti. Like you said, the person is great at what they do when they what they do what they known for. Yeah. And you just go into that zone. Everybody else can't do what you do. Yeah. Yeah, and then when you stick to who you are, then that's great. Just that, uh, that's why I said when you try to please, when you when you are straight up and you're real within yourself and you do it because how you feel it, and not what's out there, that's when you know that's when you can kind of like let the flower flourish. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the lotus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't need that validation. Big yeah, Big man. Mad says, "I do this. F those eggs." Huh? Big Matt said, "F those eggs." Oh, you want those eggs? You want the LeBron eggs? Mm -hmm. I don't think I want LeBron's eggs. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Underland <laughs> says, "Why would a man be making you breakfast?" <laughs> real? That's real. Hey, you got you can have eggs for dinner. Well, I, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it could yeah. be a dinner. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Some egg fried rice is bomb. You'd rather you rather pay to see? Well, not even pay to see, but you know what I mean. You'd rather see them do. What they're great at, you know what I mean? Not something that you've probably heard about by yeah. somebody else. I, yeah, yeah, you know, you know what I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, we know, we know. Oh, you know we get the, we get the, we get it. Everything, right? I always say, you know, people gotta think deeper. That's all. You know, people gotta think deeper. Exactly. Um, Just in case, I'm, I'll let you know I'm back if you didn't know. Okay. 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 Yeah, man. Yeah. So I mean, it's open. I mean, I, I love the discussion. This is this is beautiful. Tetra mm -hmm. Grammaton is in the building. Word, it's that's an deep. old name right there. This is deep, man. This is deep. You know what yep. I mean? I think here he goes. I gave him. I, what's up, my brother? It's not working. Oh, I see him. I, oh, I think he see you. Hold tell, on. Him, tell him to stand by. Stand by. He's gonna let you in. That's the mighty Hebrew. Oh. Mighty Hebrews coming. Hey. See what you spark oh. with Naphtali, Queen Naphtali. But I think, people, but I think you know people got to think deeper than whatever they've been taught or been shown in life. You know, mm -hmm. that's how you get the solutions <laughs> or discover new things. You know what I mean? You got to swim. You don't just swim on the surface. You got to go deeper to discover new fishes and all that type of stuff. So, that's right. you know what I mean, that's that's how I look at life. Um, you know, the deeper the better. You know what I mean? You stick mm -hmm. to the surface because it's safe. And I understand that. <laughs> you gotta sometimes learn how to swim. You know what I mean? You're not gonna drown. You might discover something new. Right. There's real talk. There's treasure down there. You just don't know it. Right. Real talk. Right. They tell you that in the army, be all you can be in the army. All you can be. Mm hmm. <laughs> Where? Yeah. Real talk. Be more. I mean, as long as you stick to your. We waiting on Mighty Hebrew. I mean, he's in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, purpose. That Tyler, you still with us? If you're sticking to purpose, is he, does she be back? I'm not oh, sure okay. if he's gonna turn his camera on. But, oh, okay, okay. But um, yeah, there he is. But purpose is all is all about everything, you know. <laughs> oh, shout it! Shout out to the the great mighty Hebrew in the building. What's good with you, my bro? So what's up? Can y'all hear me? Yes, yeah, sir. We hear, we hear you. Loud and clear. Oh man, give me all praise and honor to y'all. 
Shalom Aleikum. It's definitely an honor and a privilege. I hear Queen Neftali dropping that knowledge mm. about the carnival, the feast of bell. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's good to hear that. But I just wanted to emphasize briefly about Patala or Atlantis. Yes. When we understand Indian history, there was a group that came out of Madagascar, roughly 2.5 million BCE, known as the Ramones. Mm. The Ramones traveled from which what we know as Madagascar to what we know as West Africa slash Northwest Africa and found Patala or Atlantis. Atlantis shifted over from Northwest Africa to what we know as South America. Back mm. in the end of the Luvian time, it's known as Ruta, or the city of the Golden Gate. This mm. is why you will see many similarities with the pyramid structures of the Giza. You know, when you start talking about the, um, the pyramidal structures in Parnak, which you see in Central America and South America, mm -hmm. because they were in the Diluvian tribes, the Ramones, two of the people known as the Tabaklis. The mm -hmm. Tabaklis were the first Native Americans mm. that in Patala and Nepal, it's America, and there they started to learn what we know as pyramid building. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? This is why when you look at Odia, and when you look at like uh, Vietnam, and you look at the pyramid structures or the temple structures, they're very similar to those of South, you know, East Asia, mm. along with the, the Aztecs, the Incans, the Mayans. Why? Because a lot of these cats learned their instructions from a group known as the Nagas, mm. or the serpent king. This is why I went, and, and some people may disagree with me. I keep teaching that Chinmet is a colony of Tamanadu, or what we know as the Indus Valley. Mm. But we understand the Naga, the Sanskrit word for serpent king, and then you start to study the Nasu, or the mm. cobras that, that, that was on the heads of the Nasu. They was reenacting the pre-dynastic Nasu, or pharaohs known as the Nagas, that ruled during what we know as the three divine dynasties that mm. came before the Luvian, or that was ruled by the children of Ham. So, mm. um, yeah, um, and everything that um, the sisters is called cool because when we understand Baal worship, which is another form of central worship, that type of worship crossed over from Andaluvian times to post Diluvian. It just took on a new name. And also, she's correct about Europa, that mm. the word Europe goes back to Europa, and when you study the... Um, the, um, the slash um, princess Europa, she was uh, Ethiopian slash Phoenician mm. princess. And that word Europa even goes back further to the Hebrew word Irib. Mm. And it also means gloom and darkness because mm. where the Europeans came from, the caves in Europe, it was very gloomy and darkness. Also, the word Europa means to rope off because in ancient times when we were exiling many of them up there in Europe, we created walls and things so they couldn't come across. So it meant to rope off. So, yeah, the system on point. You I'm about to go back. <laughs> I'm listening to Queen Martin because, <laughs> and, and I respect her too because. She let you know where she got her sources from. And I forgot that I gave her that information <laughs> on the Atlantean Encyclopedia. Yeah. I forgot about that. I don't know why I Queen Naftali keep putting out our secret weapons. <laughs> That's because you go so deep, man. Mm. Man, sometimes you go so deep, you forget sometimes when you leave seeds around. You know what I mean? <laughs> it starts to grow and water it. <laughs> Have me come on and do a PowerPoint. You yeah. see the new PowerPoint I just did on um, the Pasha Dye joint. Mm -hmm. Shout out. Word. No doubt. You know? Yeah, yeah. Word. Hard. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to get off the Mr. Queen show. Yep. I want to sit here and listen to her. Right. No doubt. Fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, peace. Um, are you still there, Queen? Yeah, I'm 
seeing him just letting Mighty. Uh, most times I'm you, you, uh, people Mighty giving you Hebrew. props, huh? Telling Mighty Hebrew, I'm um, saying hello to Mighty Hebrew. Did he? Did he? Did he jump off? Yeah, I think he came and came, he came, came and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just took us four thousand billion years, huh? Four thousand billion. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yo, <laughs> the, nah, yo, you know when he take you up, man, you gotta hold on to your uh, hold on <laughs> to your sources because you off be on the ride. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. You know my Before doctor Sanskrit. is pretty good. <laughs> huh? Oh man. Mighty Hebrew go in. He be, he goes in, and yeah, a lot well, of it, you know, well I do take or I gravitate towards. But so you know, you eat the meat. You know, he he eats my eat the meat that I have and spit up my bones. So you know, we all trying to. You know, I'm a true seeker and I'm an independent thinker and an independent researcher. So mm. I don't turn my nose up at anything. I'm I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna investigate and you know research anything that you bring out because there's you know truth is stranger than fiction. There you go. So, Truth, you know. truth is stranger than fiction. I love it. I love yeah. it. I love it, man. Yeah. Having discussions like this is to open up the um, open up the mind a little bit and get a little loose. It's fun when you can explore and and not be so traditional and can explore and, and kind of like broaden your your thinking and and and, and your spirit it gives you more room. You know, it's, it's more room. Is the difference between. You know, wearing your long socks up. I'm talking talk about basketball back in the days. And uh, like my man through the Wiggins. I mean, what, what did he do with the glasses? Mm. Oh, my man Spice, Spice Adams. Shout out to Spice Adams. We got a chance to build with him. Mm. And uh, taking the shots like this. And then you got all these other cats that come in. Jordan came in, changed it, altered the, altered the game. Broke the rules a little bit. It started mm -hmm. looking deep into it. You know what I mean? You, you could rehearse underwater. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You start yeah. practicing underwater. You go a little deeper, and then you you take the mind a little higher. So yeah, it's definitely good. And the audience, I need to see stuff like this and hear things like this. And look, uh, I want to the, the queen that Thali, she took time out and went in and started going through things. And that's what I and and don't care about what other people think. And that's the great thing about it and dropping it and being bold. So if you got you got people like me, and you got um, uh, myself, and you got uh, uh, Mighty Hebrew giving you props for just coming on and dropping these jewels. Yeah. Big up. Well, thank you so much for uh, allowing me, uh, uh, you know, when I first came out, you uh, you gave me an opportunity on your show, yeah. and I thank you so much for allowing me to come on with my doctrine because you know a lot of people say, "Oh, she has a doozy of a doctrine." That's what yeah. they say. So, I'm, and my thing is, is that I, I'm not saying anything that hasn't been recorded in history. You know, there's right. frescoes, there's glyphs, there's all types of uh, uh, archaeological, um, you know, findings that express what I say, you know what I'm saying? I look into things. I don't just go based off of my feelings. I go based off of the information that is being told. And a lot of people were, like I said, you got to watch people who tell you not to look into something, not to research this, because the thing is, there's information there. And like I said, you can eat the meat and spit out the bones. But the thing is, is that there is some meat in everything that you read. And anybody that tells you not to read it, you have to look at them like, hey, are you a gatekeeper? Are, are you a part of this secret societies out there? You know what I'm saying? So when I come out and I say these things, you know, I talk about the fallen angels. I talk about the Anunnaki. I put them all together. And I know that there are people that do put it all together, but they want to put the most high, the biblical deity in that. So, He's above all of it. He's above all of that. <laughs> no doubt. What, tell, what do you know about the uh, Sumerian king list? What do you think about that? Um, when you go into the Sumerians, and, you know, I don't have my notes with me to really go into the king's list. Um, but when you talk about the Sumerians, at one point in time, I believe that the Sumerians were actually the Shemites, were the Israelites. Um, when you look at it, um, they say that that's the first civilization was mm -hmm. Sumer. Mm -hmm. And then Sumer went down and, you know, Babylon, Babylonians and um, all of them. So I look at the Sumerians and we go into the king's list. And let me let me look at it really let me look at it really quick. So that's why I said I'm in my car. Shoot. Oh, Did I leave? Am I still there? You here? We got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and just hold hold on for. All right. Uh, so give me a second. All right. So play play on what I just sent you, um, Ad. 
Uh, check out some stuff. Cause they getting busy. Mm-hmm. It's dead. And among these stands, the awe-inspiring Ishtar Gate of King Nebuchadnezzar II. Dating back to approximately 575 BC, this monumental structure was more than just a gateway. It was believed that the gods themselves, the Anunnaki, could enter into our world through the gate. After he, Marduk, had set the days of the year, he founded the station of Nibiru to determine their bounds, that none might err or go astray. He set the station of Bel and Ea along with him, and he opened great gates on both sides. Situated in the ancient city of Babylon, present-day Iraq, the Ishtar Gate was the eighth entrance to the city and served as its main point of access. Built under the reign of King Nebuchadnezzar II, this gate was part of a grand plan to enhance the capital city's splendor. Uh, and shout out to uh, Chuck Morgan. He was up here, he was dropping some um, jewels because he, he uh, with Josh, read, he learned to read the cuneiform. According to ancient Aztec codices and oral tradition, Teotihuacan was established by the god Quetzalcoatl, who brought with him the knowledge of civilization and gold mining. Quetzalcoatl built three pyramids at Teotihuacan. The pyramids of the moon, sun, and temple of Quetzalcoatl, which were modeled on the Giza pyramids. In addition, his arrival appears to coincide with the arrival of the Olmecs in ancient Mesoamerica. Teotihuacan's connection to ancient Egypt would not only explain the pyramids at Teotihuacan, but also the presence of the African Olmecs in the region. After the Anunnaki god Marduk's defeat at Babel, he took over the realm of Egypt and displaced Anunnaki god Thoth as lord of Egypt. In response, the Anunnaki god Thoth migrated to the Mesoamerican region where he settled at Teotihuacan. The reasons for Teotihuacan's decline and eventual collapse are unknown, but by 750 AD, the city had been abandoned. However, if the ancient Aztec codices are to be believed, then the city was destroyed by a great deluge during the era of the fourth sun. The decline of Teotihuacan... Wow, man, there's some heavy stuff out there, man. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, big up to uh, R.I.P. to Rod Sterling. Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, that make you think like, yo, he, he just was playing around with it on Twilight Zone. Yeah. Like, this is what I really is about. I what I'm really am. Mm. They smoked a lot of cigarettes during the shows. Yeah, cigarettes, cigars. So my, one of my boys said he had a terrible life at the end because he died from cigarettes. I don't know if that's true, but this is what mm. he told me. And coffee, I was like, damn, that's a yeah. hard, way, hard way to do it. Yeah. but um, That's crazy. Yeah, man, check it out. Everybody coming, um, coming out. I'm checking out. I got some more stuff that I'm looking for. Yeah, so yeah. Build with them all, Solo Jim. I mean, yeah, that's deep. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think information Man, is um, endless. And um, you got to base it. And, you know, people going to tell you a lot of things, right? And you got to just look at it for yourself and look at information for yourself. And, you know, the one thing I, I like to take away is that you don't know everything. And um, you always got to, that's how you learn and that's how you, you know, build your own type of knowledge for yourself is that the fact that at the end of the day, once you say, once you think that you know everything, you're not going to learn nothing. You know, you got endless, you got to keep learning something. So, you know, you just got to keep yourself composed, study your own information, understand what you got and what you see for the world. So, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, there's going to be a bunch of false information that's going to be out there. You can even just that and understand it. You know what I mean? Just don't, you know, that's just not what you believe in. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you got to learn endlessly. You know what I mean? That's, that's how I look at life. I look at life as, you know what I mean? Take the information, understand it. You know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? If, if people don't try to manipulate you or nothing like that, because you got to understand how people are going to say it. You know what I mean? How people say things. So that's another element and part that goes into that too. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's very interesting. You know what I mean? I think deeper than most people. So I try to... <laughs> Your last... Mm -hmm. No, I was just saying. I just want to finish. I just want. I just tried to like 
and digest everything I'm, I'm hearing and just like understand it, not judge it off of face value. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I just don't know everything. You know what I mean? I just know what I know. Right. Slide back over to you. All right. Mm hmm. So last time I, I played uh, some stuff from Del- Devil Player. So uh, my question is here's a question Is Bobby Hemmett okay? Did he pass away? Is my question. You hit me in the chat. I don't know. I don't want to put it like that, but I'm getting mixed things because I never met that brother. Well, look, I don't want to know. I'll, I'll probably ask Almighty Hebrew. But anyway, play, play, the, play the next one. This is, we, since we're going there, mm-hmm. let's get some Billy Carson going. Let's go. Two. As a matter of fact, the shit you helped build Amon Ra escape. There was a pyramid war. There were two pyramid wars. The second pyramid war in the tablets talks about the fact that the Shatu helped Amon Ra escape through a hidden passage in one of the pyramids. And before he left, he decreed that he would leave the kingdom to his Ra Kam. Ra Kam, K A M, translates now into shield. Kam translates into shield. Ra shield. Over time, it became Rothschilds. And so this decree Ooh. came down tens of thousands of years ago. Who was the richest? family on the planet worth $700 trillion combined income, the Rothschilds. It's still it's happening till this very, very day. Now, these Freemasons were called Shatu. As a matter of fact, the Shatu helped Amin Ra escape. There was a pyramid war. There were two pyramid wars. The second pyramid war in the tablets talks about the fact that the Shatu helped Amin Ra escape through a hidden passage in one of the pyramids. And before he left, he decreed that he would leave the kingdom to his Ra Kam. Ra Kam, K-A-M, translates now into Shield Kam. Oh, it's gonna be on. It's gonna be on today. Mm. I'm ready to play some Bobby Hemmett. We had dealt with Blair. Uh, hold on, hold on. You know, um, not to cut you off, but you had those. I want you to share with me those videos you had um, talking about uh, Quetzalcoatl and all those different videos. I, I enjoyed that. I got that you. Was, that was in deep. That was one in deep. I got you. But you oh. asked me about the Sumerians. And uh, one thing that I I don't have my notes with me, guys. Apologies, but sure. I'm gonna have to come back and bring it. Bring Bring him with me, but you remember uh, with Garfield and the whole thing with mm-hmm. <laughs> him bringing on this. Do you remember that or no? <laughs> we talking about the Sumerians. Mm, what did what did he do with that? Oh, it's no big deal. But I want to yeah, just get back on the Sumerians. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the good thing about the Sumerians is is that they had their own flood story, right? Mm-hmm. And um, it goes, it dates back to about four thousand BC, which you know, it's about 6,000 years, which mm-hmm. correlates with the Bible a little bit, a little bit, um, you know, they, the based off the Bible, the earth is 6,000 years. I know that sounds crazy to people, but that's just the way it is. And um, and that actually coincides in, with the uh, Sumerian tribe, you know, the Sumerians. So um, a lot of what they talk about with, you know, with, what is it, Inky? Mm-hmm. Um, and then we get into Enlil, and all of them, and then we get into the Babylon Babylonians. So a lot of that, they all of that, you know, meshes together with who they worshipped and how they worship after the flood. If that makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Mm-hmm. We're gonna we're gonna play this, and then you can elaborate on it. Go ahead. Hey, do you play that? I love it when you build after these. I'm gonna send you some. I'm gonna send you some too. where flourishing Sumerian cities once stood. Few have been more intriguing than the Sumerian king list. An ancient manuscript originally recorded in the Sumerian language, the Sumerian king list, is a register of the kings of Sumer, ancient southern Iraq, from Sumerian and neighboring dynasties. The list includes their names, supposed reign lengths, and the locations of official kingship. What makes the Sumerian king list so unique is the fact that it blends apparently mythical pre-dynastic rulers with historical rulers who are known to have existed in real life. The first fragment of this rare and unique text, a 4,000-year-old cuneiform tablet, was found in the early 1900s by German-American scholar Hermann Hilprecht at the site of ancient Nippur, and his results were published in 1906. Since Hilprecht's discovery, at least 18 other exemplars of the king's list have been found, most of them dating from the second half of the Isin dynasty. 
no two of these documents are identical. However, there is enough common material in all versions of the Sumerian King Yo, that is to make it clear that they are telling. derived from a single <laughs> ideal account of Sumerian history. The rulers in the early out of the many right, incredible exactly. artifacts that have been recovered. Check that out. And you you know that voice is uh, Rod Sterling from um, the old uh, Twilight Zone. Yeah, exactly. But we might, we might just pass over to the next. But hit the next one for, and then I'll, I'll let her. I'll let her uh, build on that. Yeah, just like the Anak. Exactly. Go ahead. Shout out to Jody. I see you in the building. Free love B. Um, ben Frank in the building. He said, "My uncle told me that they assassinated assassinated Sterling." Mm. Oh man, we gotta talk about that. I right, play this one. This is gonna be good. And then ancient we'll astronaut go. hypothesis. The origin story of the Aztec can be traced to ancient Sumer, more particularly to the lost generation of Cain referred to in Genesis of the Hebrew Bible. He's not alive, right? According to Genesis, Cain was banished from the presence of the Lord and sent to dwell in the land of Nod, east of Eden. We are also further told that Cain and his wife conceived and bore a son called Enoch, and that Cain built a city and called the city by the name of his son, Enoch. The Aztec origin story of wandering in the wilderness until they found a promised location to build a city is mm. similar to the Exodus story in the Hebrew Bible and wow. the myth of Etana in the Sumerian texts. Tenochtitlan was a large city just like Teotihuacan, located about 30 miles to the south. Things get even more interesting if one considers that the name of the Aztec city Tenochtitlan actually mm. contains the word Enoch. Mm. Furthermore, the Aztec calendar suggests that the era of the Aztec was that of the fifth sun following a previous fourth sun of the black-headed peoples that had been destroyed by a great deluge. This is quite intriguing since the Sumerians referred to themselves as the black-headed peoples. In addition, the Aztec. All right. Queen of Dali. The rocket is yours. Well, see, this is what um, the problem is. And this is why people are so confused because we have all these people creating this gumbo of confusion. All they're doing is mixing everything together, which. It's nothing wrong with that. But the problem is, is that they're mixing it together and they're causing confusion, mm. you know. Um, so what I'm saying is, is that when you look at the Sumerians, when you look at the Babylonians, uh, you look at the Egyptians, all of them are worshiping the same God. That's not up for debate. The problem is, is that the, they want to make that God the like he is the God of the Bible. And he's mm. not. The Bible tells you who it is. It's Baal. And that's who it all goes back to. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't know if these people and uh, your Billy Carsons and all of them, <laughs> I don't know what their, their agenda is, right? Because mm. the Bible is the source and everything else is there to, you know, provide information to support this source. This is the main source. And everything else, it just plays off of it. And so when you talk about Enoch, Enoch is, that's not the right Enoch. You know, and he's saying things and he's trying to cause confusion and uh, talking about Cain and all of that. Uh, that's not right. So mm. we have to, you know, really be, um, you know, we have to take our time and really listen to what people are saying. Mm. And, you know, they, they come off, they utilize a lot of history, utilize a lot of information, but they're not putting it together correctly. Because if we put it together, we'll understand that there is a there is the most high God who is the creator. And then there's deities of fallen angels that came down and started to, they wanted to be worshipped. The, the, the job of the fallen angels was to worship, to be their, not worship, but to be servants or to help man, to help mankind. That's what they were supposed to do. And Lucifer looked and was like, no, they're going to serve me. Mm. They're going to worship me. And then that's when he was trying to uh, go up against the Most High. And the Most High just sent down Michael. He just sent down his angel to, to take care of him, you know. And um, they got the angel of the Lord, right? They had the angel of the Lord. The angel of the Lord 
And when he when it came down, it was he was between heaven and uh, earth, and they were looking up and they can see him. Mm-hmm. And he came down, and that's when he started to destroy and uh, take out a lot of people. And he was swinging his sword. So we know that the angels are nothing to play with. So if the angels, when they work for the Most High, then there's the ones that are working against him, and those are the ones that are causing us all these different. You know, their job is to take us away from worshiping the most high to worshiping them. And the way that you worship them by default is by not worshiping the most high by default. So if you're finding yourself not worshiping him, you, you're you by default worshiping Baal. You're worshiping the, um, you're worshiping the, the counter of the most high God, if that makes sense. Mm. Mm. What would you say? Uh, it's a good way um, for those of us who's, who's looking for, to, um, go on the right path, you know what I mean, uh, to do so. Well, I dropped the bomb when you laugh, right? <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> well, the way that you want to go on the right path is to utilize the main, to, is to have a foundation. Mm. And then you build off of that foundation. So mm. like with a home, you have to have a solid foundation and your foundation, you have to stand strong within that the Bible. You actually have to read the Bible for yourself. Take the information. And study it and understand that that's the foundation. Once you build off the Bible, then you can start looking into these different um, civilizations and how and who they worship and all these different societies. You look at the uh, the the um, you look at the Egyptians, you know, the Hyksos, they came over and they ruled and the Hyksos are the Amorites and the Amorites and the Canaanites. The Amorites were also the Babylonians. If you start looking at everything, you start to realize everything has to do with the Canaanites. It all goes back to them. You know, the Canaanites are the problem. So if you start to real, you start to find follow the path of the Canaanites, like I said, cannibalism, <laughs> right? Yeah. And where, yeah, all of it goes back to Canaan because the Canaanites God is but is Baal, and the Baal is bull. It's a bull. So if you start seeing this bull, when you start seeing people talk about, like I said, you got to pay Baal. You look at these different monuments, you look at these different um, uh, so-called uh, uh, government buildings. You know, everybody want to look, look at Rome, but Rome is not the beginning. The beginning goes back to Lebanon. It goes back to the land of where Baal is worshipped, and that's where Baalbek is. And there's also a Baalot. There's also a, fe- a female uh, a Baalot. That's mm. uh, his companion. Her name is Baalot. Mm. Mm. The lot is where we get all these other goddesses from. She is the, um, you know, when you look at that unk, that goes back to her. The unk, the unk goes back to the lot. Mm. Mm-hmm. So everybody looks at the Egyptians. No, it's it all goes back to the Canaanites, or we want to call them Phoenicians, whatever you want to classify them as. But the the unk goes back to the lot. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's heavy. You have any? Yeah. Could you show us that? Do you have any like to show us that? I'm in my car. I'm in my car. Right, Maybe, right, right. Um, indeed, indeed. This indeed is, is what this, this, this uh, B A A L A T. I believe is how you spell it. Balat. Oh, right, that. Right. Like Balat. Yeah, yeah. And um, by the Hebrew says in Genesis chapter eleven, lets you know that the Hebrew Yadavas. Yadavas, known as the Sumerians, uh, came. <laughs> Shout out to my Hebrew. Uh, Yadavas, known as the Sumerians, came from the east, India, and they found a plain called Shinar, which is Sumer. Those that are being called the Sumerians are the Hebrew, are the Hebrew Yadavas that fled from the Indus, the Indus Valley to Shinar, Sumer, during the Ramayana Wars, seven thousand five hundred BC. You, you, you can. I know. <laughs> Man, there's words that you probably didn't never, you know, you're not used to. You ever just get up and say your dava? Mm-hmm. No, that's real. He's you're going dava? through a different way. He's going through the when he talks about the Indus Valley. Mm-hmm. Uh, see me, I'm I'm going from Mount Ararat, you know, okay. there in Turkey. And I'm taking it all the way down. And oh. then we go to the Indus Valley, 
we we start at Ararat and then we go to Sumer and then right. you know Babylon and then we make our way down to the Indus Valley. Hey, this is good. But, hey, I'm sorry, cut. Mm -hmm. Sorry to cut. I want you to just, uh, start right where you left off. Ad, isn't this dope? And I say how you know knowledge is infinite, and that you can you can go here with it, you can go there with it. But there's so many pockets of knowledge that comes out. It's so dope. That's why you gotta have a solid foundation. That's why you have to stand on your foundations because there's so many different ways that you can go with this information. But once you have a solid foundation and you build from that, then you're able to see that the fallen angels are the ones that came down and they are the deities. There are these gods that are, uh, when they said the seraphim, when you look at the seraphim, which is the, the strongest of the angels, right? They're the ones that are surrounding, you know, uh, God's throne, the most High's throne. They surround this throne. And they, they said they deal with people emotionally, spiritually. Mm. So if they're able to do that with us emotionally and spiritually, what do you think they can do to us when they fall and they go against the most high? What do you think? Like, that's why we see in the garden, we had Lucifer in the garden who tricked Eve. He beguiled Eve. Mm -hmm. Well, because he was able to, you know, utilize um, human emotion. He knew that was a weakness. <laughs> it's the way, you know, human, uh, our emotions and um, the, seraph the seraphim know about human emotions as well as our thoughts and our feelings. So uh, we have to look at it like that. People have to stop, you know, looking at the fallen angels as if they're, I mean, you look on the, the walls of, you know, the Aztecs, you look at the walls of the Mayans, when you look at how they look, I'm sorry, guys, I got to take a, I got to take a look at this really quick. I'm in my car. Just give me a second. Hey, just take your time. You know what I mean? Make okay. sure it's all gravy. Make sure you ain't you pulled over. <laughs> yep. Yeah, man. So yeah, um, mighty Hebrews just hit me with so much knowledge right now. Also, as um, so as Neptal Queen Neptali, and they're, they're both going in right now. Um, and I'm looking at the pie craft. What's name? We're gonna. Oh uh, man, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna let it, uh come back. We're gonna have to. We're gonna we, have to we got a video. Blast off. We got a video submission here from uh, from Stephen Harding. It's, yeah. uh, it's about the rat beef. That's an option. If you want me to play it, I can play it. It's an Instagram funny thing. Oh. oh. But okay. I don't want to go there if you don't want to go there. Yeah, I'm um, I'm gonna let her, her come back because she's in the car and I wanna I wanna get ready to um. Gotcha. In this, I mean, get to the music because we we got we got something to say. We can't do everything in a day. You know what I mean? Rome was oh, built yeah. a day. So whenever you, if you hear me, um, that Thally, I mean, you you were great, and um, I want to get ready to get to the music. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all gonna be yo, we're gonna we're gonna be looking back at the um, at the the live. I don't know why I'm so slow, man. No, you're good. You, you ain't slow. Right. You're just chilling. Slow. You know what I mean? Just chilling. You got good. This. All right. Yeah, just... I want to. I want to move on and let's go. Let's get to the music real quick. And uh, when she come back, we'll let her know she's just joining. Her. But it was great what you did, Neptali, um, and Mighty Hebrew. Thank you for coming through. That was so dope. Um, shout out to everyone out there that's learned something that elevated, and that was uh that was a great, beautiful. Um, she she just did that on the wing. That was dope. Shout out to um, I see you in there. Oh, it's just peace to the family from the phobe. Shout out, uh, phobe Kunath. And I and got something to say it. too. Okay. Because you know, there's gonna be the people out there that right. says this is crazy. I don't believe in all of that. You feel me? You know what I mean? Knowledge is infinite, right? If you have an issue and a problem, you know what I mean. Do your research. You know what I mean? That's that's typically how you. You feel me? If you want to really challenge what she's saying, because she, you know, she's dropping her jewels, you know what I mean? Mm. Do your research. So, you know, I just want to elaborate on that and just give her some flowers, because that was dope and that was deep. Fire. Mm-hmm. Fire bird. Mm-hmm. A lot. All right, so. All right, so when you come back, man, that was a great, that was great, man. The show has been, has been beautiful. Thank y'all. And uh, we're going to, one of my favorite parts, AD, take us to the music. Bomb Promotions. You send in your music, we play it live on the show for killer priests in the world to hear. Yeah.
Jam. <laughs> well, uh, James Brown did that. Yeah. Jam. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, here, man. I mean. <laughs> That's right. All right. All right. Um, I'm back. Sorry about that. Hey. Uh, no doubt. Um, that Thali, you did great. It was beautiful. Oh, we learned that we learned you. so much. You know, and uh, the time is consuming because you know, cons- cons- no pun intended, but it's consumer. Now it's consuming. Is is consuming, and um, we want to let you go. We want to move on and stuff like that. And we want to just say we want to set up something where you could come with uh, another presentation, or because you did this on the wing, and we learned so much, and it was so dope that that um, mighty he. But once he come out, the you know, once he come out, and you know, you know, you on something because we were on five thousand, six thousand years, and he start dropping. But it was it was great, and thank you for coming through. Uh, we're gonna move on to Thank the music. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for inviting me you on. Um, yep. You know, like I said, I, I'm gonna come back, and I'm actually gonna talk about Belot and um, her link to the Ankh, as well as the different goddesses. How she nobody, everybody talks about Ishtar. Everybody talks about all the different goddesses, but nobody talks about Belot. Nobody's heard of her, and she's the one that is actually the progenitor of all of them. Uh, so I want to talk about that, huh? Say her name real slow for us. It's Belle Lot. Belle Lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bell Lott. And Bell Lott. Um, yeah, so I'm going to come back. I'm going to talk about that and bring more information for you guys and put it all together. But um, remember, if you go to jail, you got to pay bail. That's, <laughs> Most right. time That's a t-shirt. You got to get that as a t-shirt. <laughs> you got to pay bail. You got to spell it just like that, too. <laughs> Word, you gotta I, pay the bill. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Yo, yeah. they, they, uh, uh, gods and goddesses as uh, queen, they say, uh, that was uh, Queen Mephthali, man. Mm-hmm. Make some noise. All right. All right. Yeah, let's go. Our first submission is from an artist named Rez, and the song is called O String Simpson. Mm. Mm. Deep Dog. Stone 77 on his throne, legend of heaven. Yeah. Legends of legends. Fell out, uh, feel I be. Say, hey, brand new day, what you wanna say? Hit this way. Nep Valley, new school of thought. Check out, yo, make sure y'all check out Nep Valley's new school of thought over there. Check out the system. That's cool. I think somebody could tear that up. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's enough room for MC to, to play around with his play around with his paper and uh, play around with the pen a little bit. You know what I mean? Enough room to to, to glide all over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it was dope. <laughs> so he'll give it his own. Nah, I, I got some it. jewels. Oh, what, what you mean? Yeah, we got some jewels for us. Um. You know, the world is such a very vast and beautiful place. You know, we don't really value it and look at it with such beauty and grace, you know? Ooh. We're so Go caught up in destruction and division and wars. And it's wild because I don't understand, you know, why we make things so complicated. You know what I mean? 
Aren't we supposed to just try to unite and find harmony and peace and love and knowledge and understanding? I don't understand what is going on, you know? Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. That's all I wanted to say. All right, we good. We done. You can, you can, you can keep it going. <laughs> Let's go. Locked in. Locked in. Loaded. I know. I know. You, want, you ask for gems. I ain't know, know what to say. It's do. a gem. But I say, you know, why not? Yeah. Nah, you That's know, I'm is. just having some fun. I'm just having some fun. Locked in. Yeah. All right. Uh, <clears throat> next up, we got a track submission from uh, Crip Jesus. Crip Jesus. Shout out to Crip Jesus, man. My, I, I saw you. You, um, you hit me back a little too. Well, I hit you back I'm a little too late. My bad. Shout out to Crip Jesus, man. He be over here. What was it? The Soli Crips as well. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yep. It's a solely crip. No doubt. All right, the song is called Asata Shakur. Mm. I know the flow is going to be phenomenal. All right, this time I'm going to punch if I fuck up. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Asata Shakur and the whole Shakur family. Yeah. We scream peace, but really it's war. Rest in peace, Asada Shakur. Uh, Even though she not dead, she really well, alive. In the Venice, Cuba, with Tupac getting high. I wanna walk with Jesus like the Coptics. Wonder how police feel if we killed the cop kids. Less workers, more bosses. Less traps in more offices. Nigga laying on the floor, bleeding body cold, in and out of consciousness. Lose confidence. It's when you finally start to see the common sense that we've been living incompetent. My nigga stand tall like monuments. Bonds built between us, strong enough to hold continent. Niggas nominated, but they overrated And they lack loyalty like the Oakland Raiders I'm on Catalina Island, rolling papers I'm so L.A. like the old four Lakers Trying to get Sosa paper Fuck a plug, I want to grow some acres In Costa Mesa Yeah, the size of Shakur we still screaming free inside Shakur Even though she not in prison, she chilling, living Better than us down in Cuba Rest in peace to Matulu and all the Black Panther shooters. I ain't talking about a Black Panther movie. I'm talking about the party. The Vanguard, God body. This is more than just a melody. It's a story from the 70s. Mm. She was born in the midst of war. Her face heavily. Her name was Asada Shakur. Public enemy number one. Allegedly, she had shot a gun. Killed the police. Cold heat left his body in the streets. We came a long way from riding boats with the Masons. Getting tricked out of land and sold his babies. Now we Aztec warriors, Asada Shakur. Mm. Nice. Mm. Effortless. That was dope. That was dope. I like that. Yeah. When you when you want a track, you can lay back and you act effortless, and it's just you just saying. It's almost not like you even writing a rhyme, and you just in the pocket where you just speak. You just speaking it. Those are golden moments. Those are, that's what makes it beautiful, effortless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I say that. Talk, you know. Mm -hmm. Big up. Yeah, so I was a group Jesus. I was yeah, that was that was, that was blue. <laughs> no, that was blue. Blue flames. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's even harder. Next up. All right. Next up is uh, Mighty Hebrew. Hey. Oh, shoot. Came through tonight. World's Lost in Darkness. Happy birthday to... Government secret agents want to blaze it. Counter intelligence, trust yelly men. Covering facts with the mask adjacent. Reality, the law skip to face it. Guns are now a bone, begging in the streets in the basement. Father smoke, base ambient, acting like cavemen for the first chase. Mothers cry, rainy days. Blocks are destroyed, but then the rise of savior. they using the beast. Babylon, New York, Persia, and Greece. Rome broken up in sin. Orange, Western York, rising the mix, clay and iron. America enslaving Zion. Korean breaking us at Plymouth Rock. Turning our locks to Caesar face and hair mocks. Our queens and answer mama's agates thinking Christ was Messiah. Who was Caesar Bolger, a false prophet? Deceiving our minds is prophesied into knock. 
we will fall from yard to worship God in the land of our bondage. Being ruled by mountain men, they eat swan and they children, they get knowledge and power from the God old in the far sea and devour. Who's the Cyclops behind the dollar bill? One out of Cyprus, pride to commit right, the talisman, hunting for innocence, past the destructive mission. The end is now here. World's lost in darkness, the agency caucus, blood sucking the righteous. The earth is being ruled by tyrants. Two first lives clashing, batching, smashing, crushing madness, falling cyclops, sinking titans. World's lost in darkness, the agency caucus. Blood sucking the righteous, the earth is being ruled by tyrants. Two first lives clashing, batching, smashing, crushing madness, falling cyclops, sinking titans. Here's a scandal, 300 committee experiment. They wanna X me like Malcolm. I'm peeking out the side window, holding a hammer. Mortal dying by terror. FBI, Cobra Commander, getting power from the Queen of Heaven. The baroness, perforate hairy men with angels of a jackal. False prophet claiming the rapture, the capture. The righteous is slain nets like screws of mackerel. My sons on death row, they feeling thorns. Damien's omen blow, shockwaves, the title. Lost tribes, we serve our idols in this strange land of our rivals. U.S. cavalry, true origin gang. Lost religion and rifles. Let's go. We be in hell that survive us in our mouths. We hold blood and saliva like boxing matches getting knocked out. Waking up as Negroes, motherland forgot erased from my mentors. Crushing the body, solemn and simple, crying for shallow, screaming hallelujah. Forgot how to use it and ask the Shahawa's power. Battling the false gods, our caucus vultures devour. Rising they towers to keep people babble, confused. Singing the blues, using beats of fusion. We bruise from the tribe of Yahweh, Doc. Lost truth, the holy Torah that gave us morals. One with the mortal, combat and chains, daughters, little shot horrors, creating false prophets just to make a profit. Off the lost slave men, enslaving brave men. They spook in our minds. We looking in the sky for animated cape men. Made about the Catholics to pull Johnny Mitty did 500 years later and still deny reparations. This means that we're still bombing and women living in Western across the Atlantic. 28, 68 fulfillment. The fifth book of Moses, Black America. Yeah, I could we believe you use auto tune. Scattered their four corners. Mm. I couldn't believe you used auto tune, mm. but the rhyme was dope. The yeah. song was dope. Yeah, somebody caught that too. I was like, hey, a little uh, auto tune, MH. Shout out to MH. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta have fun with it. Huh? Dope, man. Fire. Yeah, fire. Two fires in there. Fires in the chat right now. Well, I wanna, I wanna hear from her. I want to hear right now from Solo Gems. You wanna, gem, yeah. What, what you want to hear from me? Uh, oh, I want to hear Gem. I, 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 feel, I feel the energy in you right now. You know, so I want to want you to say something to, to everybody real quick. All right. I guess I'm saying something to y'all. Um, you know, make sure, you know, you write things down. And um, write things down that make you feel positive, make you feel happy, make you feel good. You know what I mean? Something that's so simple, you know what I mean? It could be as little as something that makes you smile, you know what I mean? It could be something that makes you feel good, something that makes you feel positive. You know what I mean? When you look at this world and you, you spread it around, surrounded by negativity and bad thoughts and energy might be low, you know what I mean? Bring yourself high, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Something that makes you feel good is going to make you feel good and it's going to bring in good things for yourself, you know what I mean? So you got to look at life like that. You got to look at life from a good level of, of frequency. You know what I mean? Not from a negative vibe, never negative vibrations. You know what I mean? You got to be, you gotta be rocking on the, the, the real stuff. <laughs> I guess that, I'm, I mean, I'm guessing some saying something. You know what I mean? But I'm about all this type of good things, you know? Because I, you know, I love my grandmother. She wrote something very deep to me today. And, you know, I thought that was real nice. You know what I mean? It was something good and something happy. So... Spread much love to her, because this is how I feel. You know what I mean? I'm wearing her favorite color, if y'all didn't really know. This is really actually her favorite color. So, you know, I feel good, you know what I mean? And, you know, blessing to my other grandmother, you know what I mean? She's not, she not no longer here on this physical planet, but she's always here in my heart. So, you know what I mean? So much love to them, you know? So peace. Yeah. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Word. Find something. Yo, yo, we're about to get up out of here, brethren. Word. Um, we got just a couple more. 
Couple more what? Songs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we here. All right. Uh, hold on, hold on. Make that three more. Next up, we've got a track here from Aurora Borealis from the Holy City of New York with a song called The Singer, Karma Shutdown. I need you, I, I wanna see you I need you, I, I wanna see you I need you, I, I wanna see you Shut down by Karma The signs, it's all around me I can run from this connection I think I love you, but do you love me? Different. This is what the podcraft needed. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I think that. Is oh, we're going through a different realm. Hey, let's go. You know what I mean? But look. Ah, right, we here. I <laughs> just make sure we here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You can't just talk while while that's going on. You know, you know where we gonna go. Yo, listen. You know what I mean? Don't shut down your emotions, y'all. You know what I mean? Say how you feel. Say how you feel. Express yourselves. Don't hold it in, don't lock it in. Because you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you gotta free your thoughts. You know what I mean? Don't let change shack you down. You know what I mean? That's what that's that's the right song for that that message right there. Shout outs. To her. What's her name? Karma. Karma. That's right. Karma. Uh-huh. They come back on you. Mm-hmm. They always come Car- around. Karma, you gotta come back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I come back, Karma. That was dope, man. That was mm-hmm. dope, man. You, you know, you know, AD. Huh? Do you know? Her? Uh, no, I did the uh, master mixing and mastering for that song. Fire, oh, fire. Dope. Yeah, yeah. I know. It was a little. That was that was very beautiful. Um, it was it was dope, and it was yo know, that you act like an animal. Don't act like an animal. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. For real, that that was a uh, beautiful, nice message in it. 
and it was something different, which the podcraft need. I thought it sounded familiar. I was like, wait a minute. He's like, oh, you know this one? I was like, yeah. Yeah. Heard, heard. Shout out to karma, man. I always okay. say. It's not the same karma that we know about from, I talked to you a long time ago about it. That's a different karma. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, this is a, this is an artist. Karma, yeah, this is, yeah okay, I don't want y'all to get them confused. Okay. All right. Oh, the people know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Karma, man. I always say, karma, karma always come around. That's yeah. one thing about karma. Karma always come around. True, true. <laughs> but yeah, that was a cool track. Hey. All right, let me see. I'm checking confirmations. First one. Uh oh, we got a submission here from Underland Fortress from Under. The song is called Iron Palm. Here we go. Under. Oh, this video is private. Underland, you got to make it uh, at least unlisted. Mm. So we're going to come back to Underland's track. That's right. That's right. And let's see. Well, I may have- oh, shout out, shout out to Gustavo and my man Bobby. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, Wakon- Yo, yeah, Wakongo. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them two brothers. Where they at the Alchemist party. Shout out to Alchemist. That's some people going over there. Shout out to Alchemist. They had the Alchemist party, and he had, yeah, Bobby. It's too many people. I, I can't. Yeah, you know, bro. It's too, I, I got one person. This person. Oh, let me see. Uh, Are we shouting out people? I can't. I yeah, can't I go know. everywhere. Yeah, shout out to Kobe White. You know what I mean? He's hitting the parlays right now, y'all. Um, you know what I mean? He plays for the Bulls. He's he's, he's hitting my parlay right now. So we 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 looking good too. You know what I mean? I got to shout out Kobe White. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> nah, I'm thinking a joke. I'm making the joke. You know what I mean? But it, <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So we may have to just do the... Uh-oh, here we go. He's coming? Got it. Underland Fortress made it available. Here we go. Audio's up. Oh. Oh, he was up? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, man, on top. Send that in. Tell him to send oh, that in. Not that elephant, yo. That's where I appreciate right there. Tell him to sit. Yo, send that now, under. Jesus, uh. Ka, Cap, Ty Phoenix, and the other God. Who are those? Yeah, switch up ones. AD, you ready for this? Track. Oh, I just got a message. Oh. On the. Oh, yeah, no doubt, man. Shout out to Crip Jesus. I thought he said he smashed, he smashed it already. Shout out. No, 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 no. That's that's open. It's open. It's open. Send that to um, CJ, KB, KZ, um, C. 
That was CJ. Dad, we got all the A, B, C, D. I'll run through it. What are you trying to do in that? TP. That's man. That's that's what's name. JK Elemental. It's another um. I think that's another. Uh, oh, shout out to Donny RK. We gotta send those out officially. Royal Priesthood. Yeah, if you, cause you know what I mean. Cause I gotta put the rules. If we just send them the beat, they're not. No, gonna... you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So have just send everybody eight, 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 eight. Cause there's gonna be me. a lot of people. The more people, the less bars, but it's okay. I have to create the whole yeah formal email. We we talk about it. So have them just send it to me. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Send you. it to AD. Yeah, I'll create the formal email mm-hmm. and then. So we're still waiting for uh, verses for the last one. Well, yeah. okay. Well, mine's in. Yours is in. Cap yeah. Jones is in. There you go. If they take too long, we just move on. Um, just me and Cap Jones, and then move on to the next one. That's how we get it done. We have to wait all day. It's well, retro, so I figured. Yeah, I uh, just close that down. If it's if we got, we just gotta get it done. I can do. It Everybody can't be on every song. I'll shoot a reminder email. Right. Mm-hmm. All right, next up, we've got Danny Salinas submitting on behalf of Donny Arcade from Chicago. Song is called No Surrender. Everybody busy, I know that much. I love to see ones. Surrender like I'm creeping on the come up. Light it up just like the fourth song. Oh, we got Doing magic on, like a sorcerer on, on them. Gust the wind, take away upon us. Time is precious, I ain't got a second. These ain't verses, these are cost of records. Send it to Donnie on K2. 3 I get the message. They don't want no smoke. They don't want no static. Gotta want it more than they want you to have it. Walking through the madness, looking at the damage. So apocalyptic on this canvas. Prophesizing like a prophet is unreal. Ain't no use in using logic. There's nothing they could do to stop it. I'm about to take off in this ride. Came down from the ninth dimension, no surrender. Till we cut the tension, call me Cinder from Killer Instinct. Cause my body goes on fire when I rap in the instinct. Ain't nobody on this planet make a god surrender. Goes for any phony, any fake pretender. Transmute energy, I'm an old bender. You gon' catch heat, I don't care who sent ya. Watch how I fuse every letter I use into a lyrical enlightenment. I pick and I chose. And every word I say, I let it up right into the music. Get you faster than lightning, I'm the rapping Zeus. Am I really Aries, the god of war? I am every human that is being and more. Who ready to play? Who be in the shadows? I'm the infinite creator. You ain't ready to battle, no surrender. Nah. See the who's what's the name? Uh, Jackson Turner and Cruzy. They both dope. Uh, and forbidden knowledge. I thought it was. I thought it was two people. Donnie O.K. Anything Dr. K. Man, there's no more. I don't. I don't to, yeah. <laughs> and send that beat to Donnie O.K. Man, come on. Okay. Also with under. And yeah. then um, I got I got your joints coming too. Um, Donnie. It's just gonna be me and Donnie on that one. On the one he sent me, and then we're gonna put it together because uh, John Phoenix is the best female MC, man. <laughs> man, straight up, I'm killing it, man. Let's set it again. 
Yeah. Okay, so we're going to call that the collab under. And you said Donnie Arcade. And who? What for? Which one? For the for the newest uh, collab. Oh, yeah, we can do this later. We don't okay. have to do that right now. I, I just want to make sure. Donnie Arcade, yeah. uh, Kyle Zodiac, uh, Cap. Um, was it Crip Jesus? Uh, Ty Phoenix. Um, that's it. Yeah, me. That's there you it. go. For the other one, for the under. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because if we don't do that now, you know. Eight. You so. never know. All right. So uh, let's see. It looks like we're down to the grand finale, God finale. That's right. Hey. Me, we gotta get Nero on some hooks too. She's crazy. Mm-hmm. Shout out yep. to Nero. Shout out. Underland shout just out. sent the beat. Versus, oh, yeah. Just got the beat from under. All right, cool. <clears throat> Here we go. Kazodiac with a track called Inception. Already. Let's go. Shout out to his uh, podcast. Oh, his podcast. I was over there uh, yesterday. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm not sure if he had it set. For the middle, I'm assuming he wants it from the top. Here we go. You ever been in a dream that that was so real? Making your mind begin to question Real from illusion, lost with no direction Life's a mirage and thought in the reflection Where all gods playing the role with just pretending Inception, making your mind begin to question Real from illusion, lost with no direction Life's a mirage and thought in the reflection Dreams within dreams, the cycle is never ending Nothing in this place Backwards on a giant track, running with no pace Crowd of people in the stands, no one had a face Slow motion, looking at my shoes, cobras with a lace Tossed them off before they bit me, Biggie wearing roller skates Gliding past me, bloody past me, took a soap and hit the brakes Body started levitating like I'm floating out in space Mobs were hunting, jumping out the stands, going for the chase Still trying to keep myself from drifting, rope around my waist Disappearing when I thought of it, do it like a lasso mm. Trying to hit the light pole, I loop it like a fiasco The gravity here yeah. In the mind of a flying man, sanity's fair Pull the rope to get back to the land I was near Stampede across the field of dreams Cracking the round surf Projects getting closer like a map of the round earth The clouds came, the sky started rapping The loud verse, my children did appear Like a immaculate childbirth They pointed to the door, my peripheral view My close in, grabbing my dick like a stool They heard a loud, deep sound like an injury my thigh was sick, blacked out, woke up on a pirate ship, floating in the sky, tip over the side. Feeling north, just barely see the town below, we so high, cruising through the clouds, effortless, and no one knows why. And out came the Capitan, holding the mic, then when he called me to the deck, and he showed me a knife, and said, rap, go overboard, while smoking the pipe, so I spit a couple bars, and the black people emerged. When I reached the third line, hit him right with a surge, and jumped mm. off the plank and landed on a fiery bird. <laughs> Deception, making your mind begin to question Real from illusion, lost with no direction Life's a mirage of thought and a reflection Where all gods playing the role with just pretending Deception, making Yo, he, your mind begin to question Crazy with the art, right? Lost with no direction. Crazy the way he did it thought and a reflection Dreams within dreams, the cycle is never ending That's crazy. Okay, a movie. On the mountaintop, I was highly disturbed by the goat man walking in the line with the sadists. Boys <laughs> rock climbing on the rise, doing labors. Even heard they eat babies when describes their behavior with a white owl. Smoking white owls who caught the babies that was thrown mm. by the archer, so I couldn't outgun them. 
parts like centaurs, couldn't outrun them. Again, I was hit, I emerged in the crib. In the underworld round where the surface is spit. If the venom gets the venom, then you should have again. Have you thinking this is all when the world is in it? In the mazes, I stumbled to escape through the tunnels. Came upon the bridge of the flames in the jungle. I came to a warrior's, his brains are thesaurus. He told me about the coming of the sage and the tortoise. But so many stood still, it became big mortars. We can turn the killer priest and ran away through the forest. Oh, oh. Wow. That uh the uh well, this is crazy. of a rock cliff where I saw a griffin with a fez with a sparrow living underneath sitting on his head casting shadows beneath they grew arms and hugged the son of man battling grief who succumbed to his exhaustion he was found on the beach of the subconscious mind stayed almost drowned in his peace and woke up inside a flaming UFO with a crab shell padded walls painted with the ocean and pastels trapped me so long as I awaited to fly mm. but I became no man they just waiting to die the mm. recollection how I got here remains in my eye there's a single tear containing 30 days in July the young man to between became as dangerous to try. A couple minutes turned to epochs. My thoughts became mad and turned to sentence into she rock. The screens became a portal. I was sitting to the key lock. I choked up. I woke up. Oh, damn, I'm still in the stool. Dio's chilling with three ghosts mixing our chew. Thought cuisine that an awkward dream is it what's true? As I walk into the booth again, but living so on cue. Might check one, two, couple lines that I spew. What begin to fall This is too heavy, yo. This is great. On his sneeze like he's sick to our chew. Woke up inside the ink and the picture I drew. When the cages of the zodiac, <laughs> mystery zoo. I'm the god of hip hop, like I'm missing the shoe. As I tripped across the ley lines, I fell toward the ceiling, started drifting up away. I'm hovering the floater inside a giant orb, like the bubbles in the soda. Thanks to the dream and another that was slower. While above, he's in a coma in the slumber on the sofa. Yo. I don't think they Yo AD just said that to me That's dope how the mix he mixed this. That's dope. Yeah. Superman flu, we got sleepy, never pulled over. Legend has it, he's a Taurus, that's a bulldozer. A brief nap for a minute or two. In the sleep, that's a half a day, tilted the new. Cause once again he was ripped into his signboard, is playing quantum leap frog, searching for the time tortoise, hidden as an island with the connected cathedrals, guarded by the Buddha mark electric mosquitoes, vultures went through on mm. Christmas in the star, vessels in the heart, vessels in the ethos, devils in the Pico, said he was the peak mm. goat, his words became blessed, told him everything that he wrote. That's when the sky became black with a hundred crows. He told him stop, but it wasn't even coming slow. Mm. Turned out they wasn't in his mind, it was brother glows, the water and nerve cried, the fire and air. Screen. Royal priesthood trapped inside of a shared dream. A single rose grew to the heavens approach. Meditating in the center, held my breath in the smoke. The shore of the subconscious, over stretched on the coast. Of eternity, my seven doves measure my growth. Twelve versions of me on twelve levels remote. One alarm, sudden bomb, feel a heavenly smoke. Sipping out at the same time as all twelve of us awoke. So many see me wake, they don't know that they sleep. The journey is within, bring your soul to the peak. Dream work, rebirth, living omen, I speak. Close my eyes, see myself flying over the sheep. So many seem awake, they don't know they asleep. The journey is within, bring your soul to the peak. Dream work, rebirth, living omen, I speak. Close my eyes, see myself flying over the sheep. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm.
Yo. Man. You have to, he gonna have to send that to me. <laughs> you gotta send that to me. Yo, if that... Yo. Yo, that was a masterpiece. That was incredible. Mm -hmm. Yo. Yeah, I have to sit back on that one. That, that was crazy. Yeah, I was stunned. <laughs> yo, it's so much... Yo. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I got to take that to the crib. Yo, yeah. That was, that was, yo, that was crazy. It, it, Inception. Yo, it was like a full... It's like it was like the way he did, made the movie. You know I mean, and, wonderful mind. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful mind that right deep. there. That's, yeah, that's a movie right there. Yeah, that was crazy. It's yeah. too much. It's an inception. I was born to break that down. That was just yeah, murdered that. Yeah, killed it. Man, I won't even lie. That was crazy. Like normally, I, I would, I would have something. It's like with that, I have to sit down and I can't just even. That was just because that was like a masterpiece work. That's like. Blending and the storyline, and then the oh man, the mythos in it, and the and the, and the dream state of, and the reality. You know, what I'm saying it's just so much. That was crazy. Say that to me, yeah. Say fire. We got uh, a last minute submission. I might want to huh? We got a last minute submission that slipped in. That that right there could be a could be a um royal priesthood single, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's Crazy. I would call that like an EP. Who we got? Let's go. He actually, he act, he actually called that um, a priesthood tale. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, that well, can yeah, be a single. It's that's called in Inception. Yeah, but it's a priesthood tale. Wow. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Turned to them. Yeah, he said something. About, it turned to the brother. Oh, whoa, whoa! I gotta really listen to. That's why I want to hear that again. He said to All right. I'm yeah. getting it. No doubt. That was crazy. All right. So this one slipped in right here last minute. We got Knowledge Born 07 from South Bend, Indiana. Shout out to Knowledge Born 07. Hey. And this song is called I Saw Him Slip. <laughs> Shout out to mm -hmm. now it's born on seven. Mm -hmm. Shout out, shout out. That was dope. Got a super chat here from uh, Minty Hotep. Come check mm -hmm. the vibes this Saturday, 4 2024, 20, 12 to 6 p.m. La Culebra Art Park, 240 South Avenue, 57 Highland Park, California. Fun for the whole family. Peace. Hey, that's a good way to do it. Yo, yo, yeah, 420 is upon us. Mm -hmm. So get ready, it's going to be off the hook. 420. Right. It's on a Saturday too. On a yeah, Saturday? Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's right. 420. That's, 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 that's right. That's one of the days I actually <laughs> smoke too. 
Huh? Yeah. That's a that's one of the days I smoke too. Hey, oh yeah. That's it. Make it your uh make it your make it your uh what I'm gonna call it. What you doing? How, how what you doing? I mean I got a DJ that night, so I'm just gonna show up lit. Yeah, yeah, there well, you go. It's 420. There you go. It's gonna be like a normal Saturday. What's your strand? Exactly. <laughs> for the people, for the people out there, what's your strand? Oh, uh, it's called um, Paradise, but yeah. it's spelled P E A R. Ah, uh, a dice. It's a sativa hybrid. Okay. It also okay. has these special turpentines that make it less likely for the munchies. Hey, Turpentine. look at that. Yeah, trying yeah. to keep the munchies low. Yeah, make sure y'all get your favorite strand. You know what I mean? Yeah. 420. You know what I mean? It's like the Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Truth. Brown Buffalo says, play smoke tea from Killer Priest at the end of the show. Maybe Salute to else. KP Brother Glow, Solo Gems, and AD Ross, a.k.a. Sound Daddy. Yeah. It's one word, but yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Man. Smoke tea. Uh, Mini T. Hope Tep says, $5 art party Saturday for 2024, 12 to 6 p.m. She's pushing it. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. how you guys do right. it. Right. Yeah. That's how you gotta do it. Yeah, we would definitely. If y'all around the area, what's, what's the address? Yeah, we need the address. Uh, she gave it to us on the last one. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Always throw it. Always repeat it again because people got. Short. How funny! It's on four twenty, and the address is two forty. Mark. Oh wow. So, yeah. Okay, that's easy. Two forty right. South Avenue, fifty seven Highland Park. <laughs> oh, that is four twenty. Uh, scribbled around. That's yeah. so dope. She got to got run with that. Yeah. Four twenty. Yeah. My yeah. address is 240. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. Nah. Anything else? Um, that's it for Super Chats besides another uh, one from Bunny. Bernie 01, Royal Priestwood, only for the elitist. That's right. KP Kazodiak, Ta Phoenix. That's right. Kill and thank you. Music that heals. Yo, that is, man. man, yo, I'm so glad that lyricism is, is lyricism is is back. It's here to stay. It's strong, but the lyrics that's coming out on this show, off the meat rack, mm-hmm. incredible, yo. Royal Priest is gonna take over. I'm putting that in the atmosphere. You know what I mean? That's right. Write it down on your books. Write it down in, the, uh, 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 in your mind. You know what I mean? That's gonna be it. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be fire. Yeah, Anything yeah. else? Yeah, no, nah, I think that's it. Yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, we out of here, man. Emerald City is closer yeah. and prettier than ever. I want to thank one more time, Nephthali, uh, Queen Nephthali. I also want to thank Mighty Hebrew. I want to thank everybody who came through tonight and represented. Shout out to you. We'll be back. Make one day. I suffer from severe brain fog. I wake up in the car seat in the park. Brain fog. Vader books. Strange broad. Red dot on the forehead. She came to as she nod. Ford. Tire box. Airbags. Engine lights. Smoke everywhere. That explains more. We both saw our blood stains and pores. Outside the car was two dead men. Well dressed. One had a vest. The other had a chainsaw. Who they came for? Was it gang wars? I saw open suitcases of money. On the ground was cocaine and slain dogs. This was real though. I'm bipolar. This type of money that bosses die over Wise cry over Wise guys and took the lives of many soldiers Both their pants was wide size and penny loafers My third eyes like the Wi-Fi, plenty coaches Look to my side, that's when she came closer Blood on her dress, on her neck a wing cobra She told me that's my trauma and attachment My codependency and abandonment Issues are unwrapping So though my childhood experiences Is now coming to me in these gangster images I hypnotize you, but this is how this finishes Your failures and rejections are the witnesses This is far more supportive and attentive Validated and responsive, check your premises The reasons that you see drugs All white like ghosts, that's why it's coke Psycho, the psychos, then you need hugs The stress code of the ghetto, let go of the devil Death hole, as you receive love She said my hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal axis is plastic Then take out one of the three evil masters 
cortisol, glutamate, or norepinephrine in my hippocampus. She said, let me please explain. When I put you under the hypnosis, I wanted you open, so I rode with you in the rain. You said it drove you insane. Then I asked you to take me through your fears and your horrors, your younger years and your trauma. You just shed tears and said, mama, it was ghostly. It was a slow steep as you sit back and sip on the smoked tea. Just watch the child go back and forth. Just watch the child go back and forth, getting sleepy. Just watch the child go back and forth, get sleepy. This was therapy for my cognitive behavior. She said the Vedic papers was just my creative nature. My negative place, she made it safer. I often fled to escape where the hate was greater. My pen get close as an electric saver. Gillette, eight sets of razors. In depth, direct, effect is major. Oh, now I get it. Look around, it's Asia. The ground is mystic, the suitcase of cash. Begin to mutate the gas. I begin to lose weight and fast. My inner critic begin to chastise. I fit my spirit. I'm getting bad vibes and metaphysics. And in my fitness, I ride with you. I'll be your witness. And please allow yourself some forgiveness. That's what she said as she held my hand. Set boundaries of how you feel. Strengthen your communication skills. Now get back behind the wheel. Damn, this lady is good. The craziest woods. Moon out, Tasmanian wolves. Mushroom sprouts. Windshield wipers as it rain on our hood. It happens slowly as we sip on smoke tea.